<laughs> it actually being quiet when I say it's time to be quiet. <laughs> You caught us at the end of a conversation. I did. I timed it really well. It's because yeah. we're a little bit late. Yeah. And we are live. Woo! I'm yelling for some reason. Woo! Welcome. It is Christmas time. It is Christmas time. Christmas time. Yeah. Christmas time. Yeah. Christmas time yeah. here yeah. in the yeah. dead of it night. It is Christmas time. Or ha- Hanukkah. Or yeah. Kwanzaa. Ramadan. Yeah. Or Christmas holiday. Yule. Ramadan. Whatever, whatever right. it is you like to celebrate. Oh, dear. Whatever. So many options. It is. Or it could just Such be many the solstice where we Such yeah. many holidays. all sacrifice a goat to the Wiccan gods mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. pray that Santa mm-hmm. does not kill us in our sleep. That's what I celebrate. Indeed. Or, he is yes. he is a hostile spirit. Yes, Santa Claus. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Wait, have you seen, this is off talk, have you seen Violent Night? This episode is sponsored by the movie Violent Night. Go out and go see it. It's really good. We're killing it with the sponsorship. Please sponsor yeah, me. Really Please sponsors. sponsor. It's one of my favorite holiday movies of all time. Oh, wow. It's so good. Um. Anyways, thank you for joining us. Welcome to World Weavers D and D Actual Play. World Weavers is part of the Homebrew Network. If you're enjoying the show, check out our other shows at actualplaypods.com. You can hop on our Discord and hang out with our amazing and active community. I am very proud of the Discord. I know you're probably in about 74 different Discord servers. I can promise you that we will be in your top one. 70. Yeah. It's just 70. Your top- <laughs> uh, pump your those numbers one. up. For uh, sure. So I was going to, I didn't even think about the fact that Carlos had abandoned us this week and I was going to plug Power Word Fail this week. So Andy, represent. You're over here. I'm mirrored. Andy, right here, representing Power Word Fail on the Homebrew Network. That is our Ooh. high fantasy podcast. So if you're into some of the like classic arcane mystery and like character sword and sorcery style actual play, you need to check it out. You can check them out and Wait, what's more this, then? at actualplaypods.com. We don't know yet. Um, you're telling me that there's no beans right? in high fantasy? I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. No, thank you. Um, I will say Power Word Fail is not sponsored by Violent Night, the classic holiday film. (laughs) So wait, Uh, it should be. Power Word Fail is high fantasy. Yeah. Kaleidosphere is the high seas. Uh Can we be high chaos? Sure. I don't know though. You might want to listen to the homebrew proper (laughs) because (laughs) the homebrew is pretty (laughs) crazy. Um, I so I don't know. High chaos. I that is excellent, Max. Two feet spirit that coming oh, back. That's right. Much, much She's forever alive. Uh, in that one. So, World Weavers is so nice. brought to you by FanRoll. You can check them out at FanRollDice.com and use coupon code HOMEBREW for 10% off anything. The cool thing about FanRoll is that their uh, coupon codes stack and they've got a Christmas deal going on right now, which I think is 12% off every... It's, 10 per- no it is 12% off everything in the oh, store yeah. and like 20% mm-hmm. off wow. um and they're so good i just yeah. got to play with my i i had three sets that i ordered and i mm. got to play with them last night yeah and they were really fun i i right. initially had done a, a 12% and then a 24% on orders over 100 and i was going to call it double christmas and I got it like approved and everything and i was like that's the dumbest idea i've ever had <laughs> so no! we just did 20% uh nat 20 deal which made way made more sense so i apologize about getting you off of that extra four percent you can blame me for that but there's still 20 percent off orders over a hundred dollars which i think is really cool i like my big giant ones because my old eyes can't yeah. see the numbers anymore <laughs> the chunky boys. oh yeah the castle, castle ones are chunky they're big yeah. boys they're they, big. you should see they have even bigger ones than that they have this um meg they call it mega <gasps> dice it's like 55 millimeter <laughs> inclusion <laughs> dice with like there's stuff in it like there's a skull so in cool. it and stuff they're they're so cool. like a real one yeah, is, yeah there is a real, real human it's a being full it's I like the size of a bowling ball. One, it's a bowling my, ball, but it's a D20. One and, of my friends did get one of our other friends bones made out of or dice made out of human bones last year for, for Yule. So Okay. Bones wow. made out of dice. Possible. I, I want to be metal as fuck. carved into dice when I die. Right? <laughs> if you're Forget enjoying the show, <laughs> everybody do the subscribe dance for exactly 12 seconds. For double Christmas. Carlos isn't dancing. He's just a picture over in the corner. 
because um darn it carlos carlos is not here this hey, week carlos. um there will be a tiny i mean just a normal Any size sh- uh kobold following everyone around named delbo uh but carlos is not with us uh and oh. then final announcement we will not be live next monday which is the 26th or the second for world weavers proper but we do have some cool stuff so there is a full network holiday special that myself and renee uh did yes and we have some people from the kaleidosphere and some people from the homebrew D play podcast and um uh, Nathan and Carlos from Power Would Fail are on there too. And Ian, Ian's on there too. So it's a, it's a lot of fun. It's like a whole network thing. And I, it, it was a blast. That's going to drop on the 26th. And then uh, you can get, get that on any of the main feeds. So all of that out of the way. Uh, welcome, everyone. Oh my God. Are we going to play D&D? We're going to play d It was eight minutes. Uh, it was eight minutes whoa. of announcements. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> it was a it was completely bad, bad. normal number of announcements. Um, special, let's see what we got here. This is my little theme that we have for. Let's see if we got this here. That's the wrong. Oh, one. yeah. I was going to say that sounds very holiday here specially. We go. Yeah. <laughs> that is actually not. This is my this is my uh, grand clan <laughs> overall theme that we have going on. Yeah. So, just a bunch of bumbling people, like a bunch of weirdos bumbling <laughs> through the woods. Yeah, is what it sounds like <laughs> every forty or fifty years, the Mad Hunter Valley changes, and not just a little bit. Overnight, when the moons of Kayamia align, the entire landscape changes: the terrain, the plants, the wildlife, everything is born anew. This process has confounded arcanist and scientist alike for decades. But the hardy people of the valley have survived what they all call the changing by coming together and exploring, documenting, and mapping the valley in a grand moot called the Grand Clan Tournament of the Mad Hunter Valley. This event is centered around the now 800-year-old institution the Biological and Ecological Society of the Mad Hunter Valley. This tournament is a rich part of every valley denizen's ancestry. The grand structure, equal parts museum, zoo, and temple is a sight to behold at the entrance to this valley, and in it are murals, statues, paintings, and even some live remnants of changing's past. You all are from Clan Madisher. Last night was a gathering. Food, drink, storytelling and the unveiling of the 16th changing mural. But today is the 17th changing and the 17th Grand Clan Tournament. Madisher has never won a changing, the only one of the seven clans to hold that honor. But this is certainly your year. You are preparing, getting yourself around in the morning, about 30 minutes. It will be time to gather for the tournament kickoff ceremony. Last week, we met our characters briefly. Uh, I'd like to go through a quick description once again for people that skip the weaving episodes. Uh, so let's start with Anuran. Am I saying that correctly? Anuran? Anurin. Anurin. But you can call her Anu. 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 So Anu is a an orcish waitress. Um, she is about six foot eight, green skin. Wears her very jet black hair and a high ponytail and is dressed exactly as you would expect for a bit of a tavern wench. Uh, she's in her early 20s, as you, as it would appear in human age-esque. Um, and yeah, she is the traveling tavern waitress just trying to make her make her money so she can go to college. Absolutely. So you're getting ready, um, getting everyone around, uh, pouring some drinks, making some breakfasts and things of that nature for everyone um and i believe in first would come let's go with let's go with gordo maxton introduce gordo to us 
Sure. So in stumbles Gordo, who is a, a bugbear of average bugbear height, probably like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, He's got kind of a brown, light brown fur, but he, have, he has tufts of, of black fur on his head and chin that kind of make like almost an Abe Lincoln style beard. <laughs> um, and he has uh, bright gold eyes. And he's currently dressed in like like half of his leather arm, like the lower half of his level le leather armor. His top half is just like a white shirt. And he's got, you know, the little like white, like, you know, like a line cook, like the little white, like line cook thing. And he definitely runs in like carrying like a little tiny bucket full of like a sloshing, like blue, li bluish liquid. And he's like, oh, Anu, Anu. You were right, the temple. They had two of those exploding manatees. You know, the exploding land manatees. They had two of them left, and one of them was giving milk this morning. I got the last barrel. This is going to be good. I'm telling you, oh. this one, I'm going to put it into, like, you know, that, like, you know, ganache thing that we had last night. I think I'm just going to oh. kind of mix it up. Great, Gordo. I'm sure it'll just be fantastic. Oh, yeah, yeah it's got a real burning idea. taste. I'm going to miss those guys, you know? Yeah. I will not. <clears throat> what? Uh, I hate to say speaking of milk, but Nuna. <laughs> well, that's rude. Um, <laughs> Nuna is a minotaur. Uh, she is about six feet tall. She's got two sets of horns, um, which make her six feet tall. She's actually shorter, but she would never talk about that. Um, she is a black and white cow, um, and everything she wears is some outrageous color. Uh, so she's got a bright pink jacket on, purple pants, goggles on her head, and she's just like, every pocket has rocks or mushrooms or something um, that she found outside, and she is the, the herbalist for the clan, so she just knows everything about plants, and she loves them. Um, so she would uh, stumble in, and she'd be like, Oh my goodness, Anu! Were you stuck outside in the changing? No, I try not to stay outside. Morning, Nuna, by the way. Oh, because you're more beautiful today than you were yesterday, and I thought it just was the changing. Uh, do you know where Gordo is? Gordo just went to the back. Cool, what's he got today? Uh, he got the milk from the manatees, if you can believe it. Oh, that's the best! Oh my goodness! Yeah. And she's just gonna run back, she's gonna be like, Gord, bro! What you doing? And she's just Yo, running back. good morning! Yeah, what's- oh, you know- Hey, I've got a special treat today. It, I heard, it burns and it what? rhymes with anatee gilk. Wait a minute. <laughs> Good, yes. Well about, done. Is it, let me think about it. You'll get there, Gordo. I believe in you. I found this mushroom. Do you want to try it? Uh, yes. Does an exploding manatee give delicious milk? And he just grabs it immediately, <laughs> pops it into his mouth, whatever it, whatever it was. <clears throat> Oh, this one. Yeah, this is making my tongue really numb. This is a good one. Where'd you find this one? Is this a new one? No, it was from the last one. Maybe we could find it again, though. It's good to know. Oh, I really didn't yeah, know that, that would be awesome. kill you or not. I'm glad it didn't. Uh, I think a lot of customers are going to like that this dish will make their tongues absolutely numb. It's probably the vanity milk, too. Yeah. I'll add the disclaimer to the board. <laughs> I just sigh and go like right a little as I'm updating I, the like specials board. I do love the idea that yeah, I was gonna say like in addition to a specials board, there's like a disclaimers to the specials board. So that you she have to sign like, a waiver you know before how, you get like, it. You know how <laughs> menus <laughs> menus have like the little like V. It's like yes. oh, these are vegan dishes. These ones are just like a little toxic. Or, or like symbol, the little, little asterisk skull. for like shellfish and stuff, where it's like hey, like there's an inherent risk in eating semi-raw yep. meat products. So It's if just a G for Gordo. That's how I mark <laughs> the Gordo special. This menu mm. rated G for Gordo. For Gordo. Uh, speaking of Nicola, introduce, uh, introduce your character, Renee. Oh, God, it's too early for this shit. Um, you see walking into the tavern a, um, a, a tiefling woman with uh, kind of like dark... Uh, 
pink skin, kind of like large gray horns that curl up along the side of her face, dressed resplendently with a an Olympic grade hangover, just come like stumbling in head over her eyes, like, oh my god, it's it's so humid now. In addition to the hangover, now I have to deal with the humidity. I I can't. And she's gonna like walk up to the bar and kind of like look up at Anu and go, "Hi, babe." Um, Hi. You, you know, I got you. I you got know, you. You know what it I'm is. I'm already sliding over. Um, the can I just get like eggs and hash browns with like the most cheese and bacon that you can possibly put on them? I don't. I don't want. I love Gordo. I don't want any of his weird shit. My stomach no. can't handle it. I just need cheese and bacon and hash brown and grease. Please, for the love of God. Thank you, my God. Gordo, we got one boring special for you. Oh, okay. Uh, did, did she know I have to substitute the bacon? We oh. ran out of those underwater pigs from oh, last God, time. I was yelling so loud. I just, that's fine. But yeah. the bacon um, Yeah, just... Long's Anything greasy, greasy, not the exploding manatee milk, though. I think I could make this look like bacon. And he's, like, holding up, like, another just piece of meat. And yeah. just kind of shrugs and, like, goes to work. Yeah, yep. that's fine. That's yep. fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's great. Um, Nicola is, uh, since everybody's kind of, like, describing their role, uh, Nicola is uh, kind of like the troublemaker, lovingly so. Uh, of the group, she's very much the one that anytime somebody comes into the valley, she's ready to swindle them. She's really good at like card and tabletop games um, and fixing them and just getting the most amount of money out of people that she can. Very smooth talker, is usually able to talk her way out of like any kind of problem. But sometimes things happen. <laughs> and uh, when that yeah, occurs. Challenge accepted. When that occurs, she's mighty good with a sword. <laughs> Uh, and last but not least, uh, Rin, Maggie. Rimlot, Udri, the Udri family of the Udraki clan. Um, yeah, she's just the worst. She <laughs> is um, a hobgoblin whose family had to move here because her father was like in construction or something fancy and executive and. Basically, they were told, you know, we just need you to come in, help with some work. And he, she was promised that they would be back home in time for the changing so that she wouldn't be stuck in, in this little town as as she sees it. But yet here we still are. Um, and she, uh, through her parents' good connections, managed to get a gig as basically like an after school daycare teacher kind of thing so it's just like <laughs> what should be the easiest job in the whole area and she's just so nonplussed about it she doesn't she doesn't want to be here she doesn't really care she's she's very very just bothered at her existence here um but she uh about average hobgobliny height weirdly kind of like uh, I hate to say, a, like, weirdly attractive, but kind of cute for a hobgoblin. Hey, it's 2022. Um, Hobgoblins can be attractive. She's super cute. She, she <laughs> always is dressed, though, impeccably and, like, up to date with whatever the city fashions are and always has, you know, her hair done and, and looks to the nines. Should not be doing a job around children by any means. And yet, here she <laughs> is. Um, but that's that's Rin. Rin Udry. Rin Udry. <laughs> Uh, and this is, uh, the six of you are the participants, uh, from your clan for this year's mm -hmm. changing, um, as you are having breakfast and getting around, uh, some other people, uh, that are visiting, most of the people are here to observe and to celebrate this grand momentous occasion, uh, and I imagine, you make a little bit of coin serving drinks and food and such that uh, you do see a, a little fellow wander in accompanied by a couple orcs um, and you would recognize them at least Rin would the rest of you can tell me if you do or not uh, this is Snat the Goblin and orc sisters Shamar and Bertha and they are from the clan Udraki and Snap kind of wanders up to the bar 
and jumps up on one of the seats like, what the fuck is all this shit? It's awful. It's awful. It's, it's so is. fucking awful. What's that smell? I don't know. I've been here for so long and I cannot figure it out, but it's everywhere. It's oh my everywhere. God. I can't believe really? you're stuck with these losers. Are you guys sitting at the bar? Yes. I think Nikki at hearing this conversation just kind of surreptitiously just kind of. <laughs> like, like gives her armpits a sniff and like, no, it's not me. We're good. We're good. So is there like uh, yeah. a winner's discount? Is it like on the house? What do you guys got? What's the milk? No, milk? Exploding milk? You have exploding milk. What is that? Is that like a weird Perfect cocktail for name? Rin and her friends. You want me to get you some? Yeah. Oh, I'm sounds fine. Sounds great. I'm fine. I would take a tea in a clean cup if you have one. Clean cup. Well, I'll have to try, but for you, Rin, anything. And I just storm back and just, Gordo, I want yeah. your largest uh, order of Gordo special for today. Give it that extra milky flavor. Oh, great. Yep. I just managed to put out the, the fire that I started with the first batch. So this one I think will be ready uh, in just a minute. Oh, hey, here's the, uh, you know, those like, I found some meat. I'm pretty sure it was from one of those weird like, you know those giraffe chinchillas? I think it was one of those. So there's the the bacon. We're gonna call it bacon today, uh, and some of the uh, T Rex eggs scrambled. Uh, scrambled it and is. Snat has wandered back there, and he's just looking around as you guys are talking. Like, what the fuck oh. is this shit? He climbs up on hey, a table and Snat. starts like munching on a uh, some greenery. He's like, Ugh. oh my god. I yeah, will just, just straight if up. If you think it's bad it. going in, just wait till you feel it coming out. <laughs> uh, I'm going to miss that one. You know, I just got to tell you guys, I super appreciate you being here and just, you know, making sure that, you know, no matter how bad people do, they're not going to be the worst. You know what I mean? That's the nicest thing you've said, Snap. Thank you. It's really impressive. It feels almost oh, intentional how terrible you are. I appreciate that you are here, too. Oh, thank you. Uh, you, you know, well, Snap, I mean, like, I'm making, uh, you know, the Gordo special. That's the good luck charm. I think this might be it. I think this might be the year. Oh, I bet this is going to be the year. You got to go for sixth this year? Sixth place? Well, uh, Get you a I nice mean, copper, uh, copper medal? I mean, you know, like, Six is still pretty good. Oh wait, are wait? Are Do there, I have there line of like sight teams? on this little goblin? Seven Uber? teams. What'd you say? Do I have line of sight on him? Yeah, he's he's the the orc sisters are kind of like making themselves seen too very quietly, but okay. crossing their arms. Um, I would love to cast Mage Hand and give this goober a wedgie. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Are you trying to do it like sneakily? Oh. <laughs> uh, Snat would uh, eyes at you and like uh, wave the spell away. Um, oh, your mage hand, yeah, giving him a wedgie. Yeah, he would he would uh, interrupt your spell with a counter spell very quickly, just like kind of counter snap spell? his fingers. Um, he wasted a counter spell on a cantrip. What a nerd! Yeah, right, what a fucking loser! <laughs> what an idiot! I would like to pivot to that looks so fucking cool. Him. What are you talking about? I just smacked it right out of the air with my own counter spell hand. He that was fucking a cool. Spell slot on a cantrip, you goddamn insecure dick. I'm not. Insecure. I mean, it was pretty cool. I guess. It was <laughs> cool. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna walk up and just get in his face and just in the most sickly sweet like server southern voice like darling <laughs> if you don't get out of my damn kitchen we're gonna have problems now move it all right all right all right keep cool stay chill everything's cool uh I don't know why you want to go about that anyway cool. that's what the help is it's like a i don't know man you just gotta see it sometimes it's like a carriage wreck you know what i mean it's a bit like a zoo right yeah all right, well, we'll see you losers in the valley, all right? Bye. Sure. What I said to your mom last night. <laughs> Wait, don't forget your <laughs> no, don't forget your manatee milk. I'm good. I am 
I'm set. Oh, I don't know. I mean, you're not going to be good when that herb hits you in about, oh, maybe 15 minutes. He looks kind of nervously around. It's like, it's it's fine. Totally fine. Are you sure it's fine? I'm leaving. Gordo, Gordo like, <laughs> leans over to Anu and he's like, he ate the no-no herb. Oh, I know. Mm. And she just smiles. It's going to it's gonna be a war scene in there. <laughs> so everybody better. I mean, everybody might want to use the restrooms now. I'm just saying. Um, she, I'm gonna turn to uh, Leon. I believe I named. I forgot the name of my owl. My giant owl. My owl that is sitting on my shoulder. Yeah, you have a giant. Um, yeah, I have a long-eared owl that's sitting on my shoulder. And just you want to go lock that for me? And he's gonna fly off and just mess with them. <laughs> Just kind of harass whoever if they go near the um, bathrooms. Okay. Wow, uh, Rin. So about... I didn't know you had friends. How much did your daddy have to pay him? Mm. Oh, I mean, nice. Good one. Come from a place where people <laughs> actually know who you are, it's very easy to make friends. But for some reason, nobody seems to know anybody from here. So it's probably why you're... Not really sure about that. Okay, I was going to say, I love this, um, was this like a bustier thing that you've got on? It's very last season. I'm amazed they had that in your size. No. I mean, it, it works the girls just fine, though it probably would be a little bit big on you, Rin the Flat. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, nice. Good one. Yeah, Gordon puts his said, hand up. Very last also, competition. I'd much rather be perfect. unknown than fake. Ooh. Right. So, can I have that tea now to go, please? Oh, of course. And I just take a little tea glass and just dip it in, like, the cleaning water. And just... For you, dear. Mm. How special. Okay, all right, all right, Anu. It was the first... All right, those were pretty good, but we are a team, you know. And this year, guys and girls and others, this year is the year. Well, I mean, it's obvious that some of the oh. team is going to be riding the bench. So I don't think we need to be nice to everybody. I we, think we, we should have like be a nice magic to bench. everybody. No, no, this but, is why you and Gordo are the best among us, and that will always be the case. I just want to go find cool shit. Yeah, that's fair. And this is why you lose every year, but okay, fun. Let's go find cool shit, I guess. Okay. <laughs> um, as you are are talking amongst yourself. Uh, Mama Madisher would wander in. Um, she is an older orcish lady. She's like, now, 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 do I hear arguing? No, Mama. No, Mama. No, no. It's not. I, I said the word shit. I'm sorry, Mama. Oh, Mama Madisher, Mama, Mama. Oh, you've got to. Can you please try my new dish? Please. I mean, I have your usual. I'll it's here. It's ready. Two. Heat it up. I'll take two, honey. Thank you. Yes. Sorry, he's he's, he's really excited about it, Mama. Now, Rin, I need you to know that you're a valuable member of this family and of this team, and I know that you've had a hard time making friends, but everyone here cares a lot about you. Isn't that right? Oh, I can definitely tell, Mama, and I, I so appreciate everyone's generosity and just kindness over the last 10 months it's been really wonderful being here amongst you've you been all. here for 10 months it's not yeah. been like 30 years oh That's god time really does pass slowly when you're in hell and i'm saying this as somebody it who's it's from only. hell yes yes it's only now i ain't nicola Mm. Nicola, I need you to stay positive this year. This is important. Oh. If we can stay positive and we can be friendly with each other and we can be kind to each other, then it doesn't matter if we win. We'll have a good time, okay? There's a lot of things that I'm positive about, Mama. Good. Mm -hmm. Gordo? Yeah, mm -hmm. a, yep. There's a reason why you're the team leader, because you're always happy, you always smiling, and I'm gonna trust you to keep everybody oh, positive. Oh man! Oh god! You oh, got geez. this. You're good. <laughs> you're saying I'm. Wait a minute. You're saying I'm head chef on this one. 
You're a head chef on this one, but you have to do everything right. Anu says. <laughs> oh, oh, so it's it's like a it's like a co-op, like a collaborative head chef or. Oh, it's just like when we run the tavern and I, I pull out a little like apron that I've stitched head chef on. Oh, <laughs> just, this is for you. I just I bring you the orders and you make it happen, right? Oh, yeah, that's how that because teamwork makes the dream work. Teamwork exactly. makes the dream work. Everybody get in here. Come on in. Are we doing a mm. uh, hands on three? No, she's trying to oh, like, hug we all of you. She's yeah. like putting oh, her okay. arms around. Come on, Rin. Gordo, Rin, get Gordo. in here. Mm. Gordo comes in, he's like. As touching other people. <laughs> Gordo is just like, okay, I'm going to figure out what that smell is one of these days. As we all <laughs> but, get in for the group hug, is there anything that's obvious that's like of value on Rin's person? I mean, just look at her. No. <laughs> <laughs> Slide of hand, baby. I'm going to try to steal something from you. <laughs> what would. Oh, my God. That's a 23. <laughs> what you got for me, girl? She has probably her, like the. She's got like a little purse, and it's very much like a little purse. Like it's got money in it, but it also might have like some little trinkets. There might be like a little makeup thing in there or something like that. Um, but yeah, she's got a little purse on herself. Good to know. That's mine now. The whole thing? What? I gonna think do just a girl the makeup. makeup. I okay. think just the makeup. That would probably irritate her more than anything. So yeah. that's I, know, I, I know, I know, I <laughs> know. Like right. your favorite lip color is gone now. This bitch. All right. <laughs> you don't know. No, I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll find out. All right, all <laughs> right. It was a good. That was a good, a good, good hug. I, I just want you to know, I appreciate you all, and you're, you're all gonna do a good job. Learn something and have fun. Okay, that's the most yeah. important thing. Yes, Mama. We always do, Mama. Of course. Having fun. I'm so excited. Mama, it's, a, can it's I exciting. You word? should try it sometime, Ren. Actually. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, what? How you doing, I'm just, Anu? I'm going to pull her to the side. Just I I know we had to dis discuss me leaving for college after this. Have you uh -huh. heard anything more on any scholarships, anything like that? I know I sent them through you. Oh, uh, you know, I'm do I'm doing my best. Uh, you know, the, the the modisher name carries a lot of weight in a lot of establishments around the valley. Um mm -hmm. So, you know, if you ever wanted to reconsider, maybe, you know, a, a different serving gig, I'm sure I could help you, you know, get placed in another establishment. I know lots of innkeepers, but I mean, I'm doing my best. I know you, I know you have your heart set on, on higher learning and stuff. I, I, I'm doing my best though. You know, honestly, mm. your performance here could have a bit of a say, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I know mama. And you're, Thank you. I just wanted to check in. Do your best. For you, Mama, always. Do you need anything? Can I get you a drink or Max or Gordon Gordo special? Yeah, do you have anything to counteract the Gordo special so I can <laughs> eat it? Because it always gets his heart up. Yeah, let me grab you something. Um, and I'll go back and grab her like a big old glass of just like a neutralizing milk or like. <laughs> Something. I'm realizing <laughs> milk. The, yeah. the regular milk. Yeah, just and about regular. that time, <laughs> Gordo would 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 rush back and bring out. It would be like, it's it's kind of like an omelet. If like you made an omelet, but you didn't use any eggs, and instead you used like okay. a plant based puree. Mm -hmm. So it's an impossible uh -huh. omelet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a, yeah. It's not quite. Yeah, it's not quite. Keeping the omelet shape that he is like. All right, all right, all right. Yep, here. Okay, oh, you gotta use the fork quickly, or else I gotta. Well, no, it's a I great mean, well, it's casserole. Omelet. Oh, oh, an omelet. Yeah. yeah, I could see it now. Yeah, it's kind of like more of a deconstructed kind of thing. Oh, um, it's getting, or at least it wasn't at first, but now I'm thinking, you know, maybe a deconstructed omelet. Maybe, oh yeah. yeah, I'm sure it's great. You guys need to get cleaned up, get your supplies. Get everything that you're gonna need and get on over to the temple, okay? Because it's almost time to do the do the ceremony. Mm. Don't want anyone to be late. I'm counting on you, six. 
Yes, Mama. We won't let you down. Yes. Yeah, we got good. this one. We got I this one. I thought it was already clean. What does she mean, clean up? Oh, it it's, great, it's pretty it. close. Right. Maybe just tidied up a little bit. No. And she okay. She nods and and leaves. Um, anything that you guys are going to do before heading to the ceremony? I'm gonna bring Lionel back so he just comes back in and lands on my shoulder. Mm-hmm. Got it. Um, Nuna's probably gonna go and get lots of like vials and things to store samples in and test things in and mm. all the necessary like herbalist type supplies to to fiddle with plants and all the various things they might find. Excellent. All right. Uh, as you guys lock up your traveling uh, in I, traveling bar, I, what, I don't it's know. Like it's a, like a yeah tavern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I imagine tavern. it's, it's like one of we those call it a tavern. Civilians. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. what I thought too. It's I had in mind like one of the like food trucks, but that's at like at a state fair where it has like the big like covered thing out yeah. in front. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it is like the the wagon. The kitchen is like a food truck wagon, and then it's got like mm-hmm. the extended awning, you know, that yeah. stretches out in front. Cool. Um, and there are a lot of people here. Like there are easily a few thousand people that are gathered. A lot of family members. A lot of people who just visit. Uh, a lot of older people who this is very traditional for them. Looking out over the um, cliffside, you see this giant storm rolling over the valley. And it's it's pretty far up, so you definitely see trees. You see some moving water. The storm is new, though. This is not something that you have seen before. And it is certainly interesting to watch as it seems to be kind of slowly moving around the valley, almost like the hand on a clock. Uh, and people are kind of pointing and looking around different places and things like that. Uh, the clans are gathered near the front of this uh, crowd. There are seven clans. There is the Golug clan, the Bilger clan, the Obgot clan, the Umra clan, clan Zack, clan Udraki, and clan Modisher. So you are clan one. Zach. Clan Zack. Um, clan Zack. <laughs> It's just, one, it's just one dude, right? <laughs> it's just one dude, it's just a dude named Zach. <laughs> it's like, hey, what's up, dude? It's actually six dudes named Zach. Um, <laughs> that's actually how they choose who, do- who does the changing, is people name their <laughs> child Zach if they want them to be entered into a possible And then they company. all fight that. to the death, and the last six or seven <laughs> that are I was I was going to say, they all have to be, like, they all engage in, like, a snowboard off to see who's good enough to beat, like, the hoity-toity ski family who wants yep. to take over the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's either, like, it depends on the, it depends on the, the you know, what the valley is, like, one year it was snowboarding, then it was like surfing, then it was like slacklining. One year they just like <laughs> yeah, for like was... three years Clan... in a row. Clan Zach Disc always golf. finds like the Disc yeah the douchiest possible activity <laughs> yeah. and just takes it <laughs> over the top. It. Like the sweetest people, but they make that that entire their entire personality. They also yeah. somehow find anything psych- psychotropic in the valley immediately. They're like drawn to Absolutely. it, like monster Absolutely. of flame. Um, Their clan flag is done in like one of those like velvet blacklight poster, <laughs> uh, like a tiger. But yeah. this isn't about clan Zach. That's just a word I made up. What? Um, I, I want to know what clan Zach. What rank? What? What did they score last year? What rank? Uh, last year, clan Zach came in third. They they okay. they got distracted that. near the end with the whitewater rafting mm. with the dinosaurs. Yeah, there was a yeah, lot yeah. of really good um, good yep, rapids they it. found, mm-hmm. and they thought mm-hmm. they were mm-hmm. they were far enough ahead because they're they're very smart people. But once they started to ha- have too much fun, they, it's kind of like a turtle and hare situation. They just started chilling mm. way too hard. Yeah. Um, and uh, Udraki passed them up. Uh, so. Uh, everyone is kind of talking, looking out into the valley. They're pointing at different various. The storm seems to be like the biggest part of the conversation. One thing that you would notice is the storm is where it is thick and the way that it is kind of rotating around the valley. You can't actually see the heart of the valley, which is this crystalline spear that is in the very center of the valley. It is one of the only uh, points of... Um, what do you call it? Not a variable, a constant. It is the only constant point in the valley that does not change when the things around it change. 
Uh, and it has been one of the things that has kind of confounded scientists and arcanists and the biological and ecological society of the Matt Hunter Valley through the years. Uh, it's not really even studied that much anymore because there's just no way in. There's no way to uh, mark it. There's no way to break it. And it is always constant as things change. No one knows what's in there. Many people think it has something to do with the changing. Um, so the clan Udraki is uh, situated. They all have like matching little sashes uh, that are like this gold and green color. All the other clans are gathered. Um, clan Madisher, you go to your little area um, that has been designated to you. And the um, announcers, Tim and Hork, come up to this little wooden stage that has been built and everyone starts to clap and cheer and stand up and Tim steps up and speaks into this stone just kind of magically projects his voice across the audience welcome one and all we're your hosts this year I'm Tim this is Hork and we're pleased to welcome the ancient clans of the Matt Hunter Valley to the 17th Grand Clan Tournament of the Matt Hunter Valley We'll be scrying and watching our amazing teams as they map out the new changing. And now, Grand Archivist, Marla Salamandi. And everyone claps and cheers. And a very old Goliath stands up, suddenly towering over Tim, and walks up to uh, this little stone sending stone device. Uh, and I would say one of the constants in the clans surrounding the valley is that they all have uh, matronly leadership. So they they're all all the all the different clan heads are uh, matronly. And the Grand Archivist Marla Salamandi says, I'm so happy to welcome you all to the seventeenth tournament. This may very well be my last tournament. And everyone boos and awes and says, uh, oh, oh no 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 I love that old bat I'm Let's happy go. to have been four here more, with you all. Four more changings. <laughs> four more, probably not four. I want to remind you all of the BESMV's code. One, be relentless, be curious, and be inquisitive. And two, treat your fellow clans with respect and honor. Three, safety above all else. Four, violence is always the last resort. And five, respect the valley and its creation, and it will respect you. Uh, the speech goes on, and um, they unveil the judges panel, which is all of the um, different clan leaders. And they take their place up uh, with there, and they're going to be the heads of the people who are going to be judging all of the different work that you do. Um, now, the way that this is going to work, you are each being given a selfie stone. So you have these little floating devices that allow you Amazing. to capture these major <laughs> images. Um, the scoring is as such. The first team to take a selfie at the heart of the valley will get a hundred points. Uh, Shit. Anyone who commits any violence will lose 10 points. And there is a zone of truth situation that will happen after the competition. Mm. And this is any violence at all. So even if you get stuck in a situation that you have to like defend yourselves, any, any violence is minus 10 points. What about oh, like no. emotional and mental violence? Emotional damage. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, basically engaging in combat with the fauna okay. of the valley um, oh. engaging in combat with each other is strictly forbidden. You will be disqualified. Oh. Okay. Um, each new flora say nothing about and fauna. Psychological. It says nothing yeah. about psychological damage. Yeah. Um, we are free to wage psychological warfare. Okay. Each new flora and fauna that you documented will be worth between one and five points. And that is what the judges panel will be determining. Um, the... Uh, uniqueness and the uh, the depth into the valley and the rarity and how uh, 
how fully you document it are going to be the things that give you the extra points there. So like a common mushroom that everyone might, you know, capture might be worth one point and a, a rare mushroom that has some like unique qualities to it might be worth many, might be worth the five points. And then it's Pokemon snap rolls. <laughs> right. And then there is a uh, hundred points for the most complete and correct map. That's the cartography category. So there's the cartography category, uh, the exploration category, which is getting to the heart of the valley. And then there is the one to five points for documenting new flora and fauna. Uh, the Grand Archivist would let you know that rule number three is absolutely important with the exploration, getting to the heart of the valley. Since they can't see the heart of the valley, they do not know that it is safe. And so they encourage you to not put yourself at risks for, for those 100 points and to remember that safety is above all. Don't put yourself in mortal danger in order to get your uh, selfie with the heart of the valley. So you will be teleported to a random location in the valley in one hour, and then you will have one week for this competition. Gordo like raises his hand like, um, what's a selfie? Um, it's named after the inventor of this device, uh, Leonardo Ooh. Selfie, uh, created this this uh, device for us to oh, be able. Oh, to... oh, yeah, no, no, I've I've heard, I've heard of him. Yeah, he's a yeah, famous think... explorer of the valley who's brought us back yes, many images. A, a valley, many images. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I, I knew. That. Yep. Totally. It's spelled with a Y, but not where you'd expect. <laughs> Good question. Okay, hey, cool. Well, and Snat's like, what so, the fuck, dude? You didn't even know about Leonardo's selfie, you fucking idiot. Uh, I knew what Leon I knew who Leonardo selfie was, okay? I had one of his um selfies. I had like a printout of it, okay? What's a printout? I, uh, Somebody okay, that's when you know. Oh my god, this guy! This guy doesn't even know what a printout is. It's when you know you take the selfie and you like um roll like those you know those. Okay, well, all right, all right, you know what? Forget about it. You don't need to know. All right. Good luck, you guys. Stay safe. Remember, and he winks at you. You too. You oh, too. Thank you. We will. Would. Um, snap. God, I Don't hate him. I want to do. Right? I want to do something Rin, uh, so mean to him. Rin like waves at you, and tries to pull you away from your group while everyone is preparing. What? Are you away from in a group? noticeable clock? way? Yeah, I was gonna say, can I oh, clock yeah. that this is happening with my perception? Um. Yeah. I mean, it's not crazy uh, obvious. Like he's obviously trying to do it a little. Low key. So give me like a DC 12 perception check. That's a 15. So yeah, you see him wave, uh, wave Rin over. She'd walk over there. She, again, she's, hey, doesn't really, really care what they think. Yes. So, uh, I just wanted to let you know, you know, it'd be pretty hilarious if we got like a picture of these guys, you know, really fucking something up. I mean, it kind of defeats the purpose of the whole thing, but you're not wrong. I mean, we, maybe we'll, we'll I mean, see. We'll I mean, see. we might might even be worth some gold or something. You know what I mean? Do you really think I need to worry about your gold, dear? I I think he if, like if takes I a just... step back. It's like <laughs> it, snap. I'm snap. You know who you're talking about? Do you know who you're talking to? I'm pretty sure what your dad works for the my fuck, dad. Rin? Listen, I've not enjoyed my time here, but if I'm going to be on this team, we're going to win. Yuck. Oh, God. Mm. Have you been eating the herbs there? I mean, unfortunately, but... Gross. Gross. Yeah, All right. I do Whatever, disagree. Rin. I don't disagree. But listen, if if something is kind of funny, I might... I might send it your way anyway, just for fun. 
doesn't have to be a bet, just just for fun. But I still intend to kick your ass. Okay, all right. Really drinking the manatee milk over there. All right, see you, Red. Don't you have somewhere to teleport to? Yeah, victory. <laughs> he walks away. Anything you guys are doing during this uh, preparatory time? <clears throat> um, Gordo's so definitely like packing up his myriad of chef's utensils, his cooking kit, if you will, in D and D terms. Um, but he's also uh, packing a little. He has a little like little box lunch for everybody. <laughs> nice. I would say Anu is in the kitchen with him. Like, okay, so we're we're gonna need. All right, so there was some sort of storm, so maybe we want to grab yep. like ponchos. We're okay. we're gonna need yep. sampling boxes, mm -hmm. like. Um, hey, should I bring yeah. the big knife or the really big knife? I think you know. I both. think I can actually get both of these in both. there. We don't need this rope, right? All right. Nope. So hold on, I can. Nuna, you know about plants and rocks and things. What's the best thing to like store them in? What are we gonna need? Like jars and bottles and. Yes. Great. Okay. All, all, all I'm just gonna go. No, no, I've got it. No, no, I've got these. Look at. I've got these little wooden boxes. Um, that one uh, from that other clan. Uh, one of the Zacks, like Zach Tupper. He has these like little tiny wares that he sells. I, I bought a couple to you know because that's why I put the box lunches in. So like we could put some in there. Yeah. Oh, the oh. Zach Tuppers. Those are great. Yeah, let's yeah. bring a bunch of those. They seal really. Yeah, well. they keep. Yeah. They keep everything so fresh. Honestly. Fabulous. Okay. Um, I'm also going to prepare two flasks just of some sort of decent-ish, I mean, as decent as we can get for our clan, of alcohol, and give one to Nicola as soon as she comes in. And just store one for myself, like, right. look, we're gonna need this, so. Yeah. Goddamn right. But uh, I swear, if you get sloshed on this mission, we're gonna have problems, okay? I'm not gonna get sloshed until we set up camp. Fine. Um, <laughs> Nicola is going to, during this preparatory hour, just kind of like super casually, kind of like nonchalantly, not drawing attention to herself, kind of stroll around all the other clans, like as they're doing their prep, and just see if there's anything that she can fuck with. Oh. Like any kind of like sabotage that she can commit. Okay. Rin join Slash her <laughs> because Rin just needs to like vent to somebody. This snack guy has been like she grew up with him. She can't stand him. Mm. They maybe had a thing in middle school. We don't want to talk about it. But regardless, she just needs to <laughs> vent. And she like sees Nicola and is like, I just need to talk, girl. You know what I mean? You so can she's come just... with me as long as you don't fuck this up. I'm I, I literally just need cool? someone to talk to. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm the coolest. Talk to, not listen, right? Right. I really okay. just need to talk. Cool. Thank you. And Tight. so she's just going to be just wandering with her. Mm -hmm. Sure. Give me a stealth check, Nicola. Boo -doo -boo. Boo -doo -boo. That's a 16. Pretty good. So what are you trying to do? Are you trying to like sabotage rations? Are you trying to poke holes Not in rations, because I don't want anybody to die. Okay. But I do want to like disable anybody from be able being able to like catalog the data that they are going to need to catalog in order to defeat us who are so good at taking selfies i'm gonna okay. like dump some water on their like journal their pages yeah page <laughs> parchment i mean i accidentally spill drinks on their selfie stones and be like oh my god i'm so sorry i didn't even like no i'm so sorry <laughs> okay I will, uh, I will make some... Or not actually that. do that, but, like, anything that I can do to, like, like, just fuck with them in a way that won't put their lives in danger. Got it. Respect. In a way that yeah, won't put their cut, lives cut in danger. Cut their break lines. <laughs> I, listen, from <laughs> wild card, uh, Buddy's poison from, the the weaving, from the weaving session last week, I don't know what the fuck we're gonna encounter. I don't want anybody to get unalived by naked swole rats. I like, know a lot of things we're going to get in encountered, and I'm yeah. very scared. That makes it worse. But our characters don't know. But anything. our characters know, they don't know. nothing. They don't I know hope great. that Mimu named George is still around. He's super cool. Oh, we know George nothing about nice. the no no vines. 
Oh um, yes, the no name. I don't know that <laughs> that jerk. He stole my like. I had that nice yellow hat. I freaking stole it, dude. That's how we knew who George was because he always had the yellow hat. That's stupid. I'm gonna get that Mimu. <laughs> Okay. Uh, are you guys ready to go through the teleportation circle? Should we like discuss of like what we're going to do before we go in there? You do have some time to discuss and make yeah, any so. Okay. So okay. Yep. I need something salty, do, something do, sweet, mm -hmm. something spicy, mm -hmm. something, um, you know, like umami. I definitely need something that's gonna like really be paid like painful. Those are like the five flavors, right? Am I missing one? Pain is a classic flavor. So are, yeah. we, are we making sure. a dish or are Numbness. we getting ready to start our challenge? I'm confused. Is those a oh, well, I have How to start you? building the next season's menu. Duh. I mean, like, season, like changing. It's kind of not. It's a long season. I, but, you know, like, got you got to start early. It's all you care okay. about. Just so are we, eat. in doing that, are we making a break for the center or are we just exploring as we can. I mean, yes. yes. My clan has always had <laughs> oh, success uh, by yeah. trying to focus toward the center while like, gathering as much as possible while you're traveling there. For what you know, to be worth. fair, I, I think I read mm -hmm. in some of the, like, on the scrolls, like, from the previous ones, I think a lot of crazy shit happens near the center, so mm -hmm. might find some really, like, good, like, vegetables down there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, like those ones. Great. Oh, remember those, like, you know, remember those radishes that just screamed? No. God. <laughs> yeah, those were good. I don't remember that I at all. I have tried so hard to put those out of my mind. Why did you? Even after you up? cooked them, I swear it was really crazy, but it was a fun dish. Mm. You know, a little bit of audio. Fun to explain to patrons. Mm. The worst tips I ever got. Okay, so we will hurry into the center. And pick up stuff as we go, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I think, do we want to make, like, a beeline, or do we want to, like, arc? I mean... Like I'm assuming arc. it's yeah. my fireplace, but I smell smoke. And I'm gonna go check real quick, because my wife won't answer me. <laughs> I just need to <laughs> calm my mind, I can't chill. So keep talking about your plan. It's better if Grant, I don't know the plan, right? The background of Grant's <laughs> thing and just slowly burn. Like, Grant, I think that's... We hear, like, special that's, effects that's are real. really intense. The background. Uh, he went all out for this one. Okay, I'll be right back. This <laughs> home safety and welfare check is brought to you by <laughs> Fan Roll Dice. FanRollDice.com. When you the plan, need right? to make yeah. a perception Wait, look, check to look, see Look over the DM fire. screen. <laughs> Does he have a map drawn there? Don't, they'll never know. <laughs> okay. All right. So going towards the center. Do we have is is somebody also joining us? Is this a what? Carlos is. Uh, oh, Carlos, Carlos just popped, popped in. in. Carlos is here. Hello. Do we have a Delbo after all? Is it a real Carlos? Carlos, can you hear this me? Is it? Uh, this is our Christmas Carlos present. never arrives late, or nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he was very loud. I'm so <laughs> this sorry. Has been <laughs> such an eventful episode so no, far. Delbo, right. oh, yeah. yeah. where the hell were you? Uh, yeah. What? what? <laughs> Delbo, you were supposed to meet us before the ceremony. Not after. His legs are so You're tiny. We were walking had, so fast. I've had a lot of trouble. I've I've got I ate some cake. There's oh. been cake. What? Ate some cake? cake? Where did you get cake? Did you I don't I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. And did you, but you bring any for us? No. You, you missed you missed the introduction of Curious George, the rainbow colored Mimu. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> really? Yeah, that. Oh, well, my bad. Um, Why does this have the same energy as like an always sunny episode? <laughs> wild card, bitch. Wild card. <laughs> Woo! No, I, and I offer you an egg during this trial. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am yes, safe. Please. Grant is so confused. Is, Grant, like, is your house safe? I'm safe. My children are safe. Okay. My family is safe. Good. Oh, good, good. Cats good. are safe. Uh, Red is safe. Just slightly charred. Everything's well, kinda... good. Just a very smoky fire for some reason in the fireplace. Mm. Did you open your flume? Did you clean your flume out? Mm. Why the hell is Carlos mm. here? Should I leave? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh... 
literally like, as you went away, he popped up. <laughs> yeah, it was really funny, actually. <laughs> it was almost like it was planned all It really was. A lot. I guess Carlos is back. Wait, Hi, Carlos. Did you guys plan it like that? Uh, probably <laughs> Carlos set the fire. The, box, actually... the boxes have gone mad. <laughs> it Carlos didn't sense, start now. the fire. <laughs> Um, hi, Carlos. How's it going? Hi, everyone. Oh, our viewers. faces are so wonky right now. <laughs> I know. So it's just sorry. my chin. I'm so oh. sorry, everyone. I've ruined everything. Oh. Whoa, whoa. No. 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 Honey, no. honey, you can't talk about yourself like that. You just gotta no, do your best. You all had such a great plan going, and I just was on the side eating this cake I found on the ground, and I checked and the tavern. It's not on fire. Just so you all know. Are you guys well, ready to go? I, Thank you, Mama. I saw that happen, and I thought I just this great time to just pop in. But that's uh, I'll just sit in the back for a while. Delbo, anyway. you sure you can do this? You're oh, Delbo, you're 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 here with us now. No, I'm here. Everything is good. I every, everything is fine. I'm I'm well equipped to join. What are we doing? What's going on? <laughs> Someone <laughs> hand him the rubric. <laughs> There's a yeah, manual. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's oh, a manual. Oh, the I don't plan laid out. Welcome anyway. to the briefing. We're <laughs> live, everybody. This is real and live. We don't script nothing. Anyway, <laughs> we don't script nothing. Let's go. All right, you guys ready to go through your teleporter? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. we have grabbed. Wait, is, I is, have found Poncho. Is he gonna? I found some sort of Ooh. strange waterproofing material ish. That's a really. Should big Carlos piece. introduce Del Delbo? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just a description. Oh, yeah. yeah. So Delbo comes running did. up uh, very late to the event. Um, I'm super late. And describe your character to us, Carlos. Uh, well, you would see uh, running with cake in mouth, just this tan uh, orange hue kobold with horns sticking out of his head. He wears. Uh, chain mail that's not really chain mail, it's just like a bunch of random like rock pieces and like seashells and different things that are like hard, like snail slug shells uh, that form like a chain mail. He has a mace and he just looks around and he just is, is a cute little kobold. His name's Delbo. Oh. How tall All is right. Delbo? Uh, solid three foot tall. <laughs> hey honey, I'm good, glad good. you came. Who are you? <laughs> I'm ma I'm your mama. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> I'm your it's mama. mama. Sure. That's it mama mama. Sure. Of course, I'm so. Cake. I'm sorry. I've. Well, I feel like when I woke up today, I wasn't <laughs> myself. So I'm a little, a little so, confused. Hey, we all feel like that sometimes. But like I told <laughs> them, you just have to go out there and do your best and try to learn something. Okay. And not Listen. die. Right. A little I, bit I, of this, ma a little bit of this exploding ma land manatee milk is gonna like square you right up. It really <laughs> clears out the sinuses. <laughs> I'm sorry. Most of the other orifices. Um, Did you say well. land manatee milk? <laughs> you got yeah, a lot to catch that? up on, Delbo. It's okay. Yeah, okay. They're, they're, they they were around during the last thing. Yeah, you did, they, and they now... saved two of them in the uh, in the uh, temple. So I managed wow. to get a little bit of milk this morning. All right, everybody. I'll see you when you get back. One last hug. Everyone, come on in, Delbo. We didn't have Delbo in the last hug. Oh, everybody okay. hug. Here we yeah. go. All careful, right. careful, okay. Nuna. Again, Nuna, don't game. smush what? Delbo. You have yeah, to be I, careful. I can't. I'm, he wasn't there in the last hug, and I was used to the last hug, so I don't Someone okay. smells like blue cheese. Just FYI. I was just going to say the <laughs> smell is here, so I know it's definitely not at the tavern. Nicola no, is going to again out. just kind of <laughs> yes. just exist oh. here. Maybe I just can't smell. <laughs> Nose blind from blue cheese. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then you step into the teleportation circle and you are all of the clans step in together. Um, everyone is cheering and just and then suddenly you find yourself somewhere in the Matt Hunter Valley. Uh, looking around you, you see that you are on some type of cliff face. Looking down, you look, peer over, and you are relatively high up with this dark obsidian rock behind you. It looks to be very jagged and very sharp. To your right, you see some sand 
And if you look closely, it seems to be kind of swirling and moving a little bit. The path ahead of you is blocked by these very, very thick, dense vines. They are dark and almost tree-like. And then up the next ridge, you see a giant nest. And this is a nest you recognize as this is home to one of the large carnivorous birds that seem tends to be the apex predator of the area. And it looks like there is a sleeping bird in this nest. So it is very important that you stay pretty quiet. What are the... What are they called? Just everybody what are we called? I don't know if you named the... Did we name these? I'm calling them pterosaurs until someone tells me something else. Men don't like women. Men like pterosaurs. As you are looking around, I need you to pay very close attention to some of these details as you're going to work your way through some of this. You see a small bird land and it eats a small green beetle. And when it takes a bite of the green beetle, there's a little bit of a yellow flower it was nested on that it gets a mouthful of. When it bites this thing, that little white songbird turns green. When the bird Uh. turns green, some of these red, furry, flying, buzzing bugs start to buzz down towards the bird. And then when it flies away, those little red bugs return back to the trees. And you see that they're uh, congregating around these green flowers that are up high on these trees around you. You then- I think the Zax might have slipped something into breakfast. Gordo, take a picture. Where's the, who has the selfie? Who has, wait, I I know I packed it. Hold on, it's- Selfie. Okay, wait, yep, I think, I think, here it is. Is is this upside down? Do I, which button is it? Oh my god! Oh my gosh. Rin grabs it and Rin takes the selfie. Of <laughs> the what are you taking a picture of? Of the um, trying to get like a close up of the little buggy creatures, but also clearly like the bird, so that we can speak to the fact that the bird had been one color and now has changed color since eating mm-hmm. the thing. Mm-hmm. But also with the the little bugs, yeah. And I'm scratching notes into uh. a journal. I highly, highly recommend writing some of this these things down for this art. <laughs> uh, you um, see, are there more? Oh yeah, go ahead. You see a, a ah. yellow hopping bug, and it's hopping, boing, boing, just a little yellow guy, and he jumps onto these thin brown mushrooms that have stalks, and it starts to nibble on them. It's probably this little yellow bug's first meal ever since the changing. I mean, it just poofed into existence. As it eats these little brown mushrooms, the yellow bug stiffens suddenly and falls to the ground. It, when it falls, it lands on a blue flower. When it lands on the blue flower, it turns yellow, and the ground around it also turns yellow, just like the bug. And the ground also becomes very rigid to the touch. The grass becomes like petrified. After a moment, the yellow bug regains its movement and jumps onto a red flower, which causes the red flower to tip, tip, tip until it touches a vine. And the vine briefly turns yellow in the area around it. Until the yellow creature jumps on the vine, the flower tips back and the vine returns to a green color. Are there more of the green no. beetles? So many colors. There are. It is easy to find green beetles. Catch one. Yes. Green. Do I need to a make a little check, or do I just green spotted beetle? No, you can get you can get Whoa. a handful of these guys after spending some time. I imagine these things oh. are taking time. I only need one. Okay. Um, it's like whoa, nature is amazing, and then I'm gonna eat it. Oh my god, you just—he just put it in his mouth. It could be delicious. Give me it a kill him. We've been doing this chat. five minutes. An insight check. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> that is a th- three. <laughs> it could kill him. Eating <laughs> eating the green bug, it's tasty. 
Um, it's not the worst thing you've had as far as bugs go. Um, but nothing happens. Mm. Um. Thought it was going to be a little more exciting. Yeah. So I will point out when the bird ate the green beetle, it also got a little bit of yellow flower with it. I kind of want to eat the yellow flower to see if I change color too. Any, what any color objections? was the any original objection? bird? <laughs> no, no eat, I mean, like, eat I was going to eat. Flowers you want, man. I'm literally going to go down like the line children. and pretty much eat everything we've just seen I mean, here. So, I mean, <laughs> go ahead. We're just going to fucking least, Yoshi's I Island our way through this sequence. entire puzzle, so it's fine. Rin's you take should do whatever you makes you feel good. <laughs> do whatever makes you feel good. That is part of I like those yellow ones. They really, they complement your fur. Before anything else gets consumed, Ren's going to take a picture of the yellow flower situation and okay. the petrified grass and all that good noise. The grass Just has returned me... to normal by now. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. How long was that? Oh, like a minute. I mean, okay. Nothing's died oh yet, God. so like it's probably safe. Probably, probably safe. Yep, that's what I yeah. thought. Yeah, and it's this is. They put me with you all for, because I've been babysitting. This is mm. this is why I've been here. I see now. Okay. Are you, so oh, are you going to eat that flower down. or so yeah. are you going to eat all the flower? Okay, cool. All right, cool. Just tell, just <laughs> describe, like, tell me what it tastes like. Like you're describing yeah. so uh, let's, your favorite let's song. Let's peel back a little bit. We don't want to fill up right in our first area. Also, there's a giant bird that might eat us if something oh, goes yeah, wrong. Yeah, we should get some eggs because mm. those would go so, really good with these green beetles. Let's maybe not from this nest. Uh, Nuda's Nuna? gonna eat the yellow flower while they're all talking. Uh, give me an insight check. That's a seven. Yeah, nothing happens. <laughs> I want to grab one of the birds Dang. and lick it. Oh. You're grabbing a bird. You're gonna eat them both together. It kind of tastes like <clears throat> yes. butter mixed with lemon. What are you eating together, Nuna? Oh, I was suggesting that we eat the flower and the bug at the same time. Okay. Oh yeah, I like that idea. Okay, so which bug? The green bug. Okay, the green bug, and the yellow flower. Same bug flower. and the same flower that the bird ate. And you it. turn green. <gasps> Uh, oh my! You look nice wow. and green. Is, I take a picture. Take a picture. Do you do look really I good. Do. And green. Do you take a picture. Take the selfie before or, or just after. Like, are we, well, we can just, get one. We can get one like later. Like a before and you? after. Like, I no think way. they know what you look like because yeah. we just they probably will notice. But this way, we at least have a timeline. You know that I way. Of, my like, clothes now. There I are blue flowers on the ground. Jesus Christ. Maybe okay. before we eat anything else, let's take some of these flowers in Zach's yeah. Tupperwares. Mm -hmm. um, I would maybe... like to gather all of these things. Okay. So what and you find... Move elsewhere. What you find are... Um, there are red flowers and yellow flowers <laughs> that are growing out of the ground. And there are is there's a blue type of vine flower that is attached to the ground it kind of like grows along through the grass the blue uh, flower is what the stiffened uh paralyzed bug had fallen onto and turned the ground around it also stiffened and paralyzed so there's a red flower a yellow flower and a blue flower blue yeah. red, and also a brown blue. mushroom there is a oh, yellow yes. hopping bug a green spotted beetle and the red furry flying buzzing bugs that are high up in the trees the, okay. the the red bugs came to the bird when it turned green oh and nuna the those little buzzing bugs fly right to you when you Once turn green, green they Hello, fly friends. to you and they start buzzing around you those were the red ones he the said? red bugs red okay. buzzing i'm going to catch them bugs. in jars like fireflies you now also have some red bugs uh, you find um, these thin brown mushroom stalks. You also yeah. find little white puffball mushrooms. And then you see across the way, across this like swirling, moving sand, you see some other mushrooms. You see some uh, oh, blue nice. mushrooms that are over <clears throat> in this little outcropping and this little bit of shade beyond the moving sand. In Away from the nest. 
away from I won't, the nest. Yeah. I won't keep us in f- this one scene for the rest of the episode and ask to eat every single thing, but I do want to eat the brown mushroom and try that one. Okay. The brown mushroom yeah. mm-hmm. causes yes. you to go rigid and stiff mm-hmm. and you fall over like a statue as you become completely paralyzed. Oh. I mean, oh, tasty. Like <laughs> Ren takes pictures. Oh my God, Gordo, you gotta try, you, okay? you, gotta, you gotta try this one. It's really Ooh, good. Ren's not taking Eating pictures. Mushrooms. Paralyzed. No. Gordo, right. are you okay? We, I'm gonna roll Gordo over to the blue flowers. Yeah. When you roll him to the blue flowers, the ground around him also stiffens and hardens. He'll be fine. Okay. Just give this him only out. lasted like a minute with the other grass. So he should be fine. After a minute, he is fine. There you go. Okay. It's fine. Snap. Well, that's a weird interaction. So there's blue Guys, mushrooms. You gotta try these ones. <laughs> I don't want to. What? All right, I'm gonna I'm gather going some to of those. I'm going to put. I'm walking up and putting my hand over Gordo's mouth, saying, "To leave." Before the bird wakes up, I'll let you try so many things. Let's just get away from this bird. Can we take please. some blue flowers just in case yes, we find more? Please take the blue flowers. Yeah. Let's just. Can we just go they this look way? Good against the green. Ooh. Just put them all in boxes. I think Nuna would look really nice with blue fur. Mm. Just saying. There's probably she something would. that does that too. Let's go find it. Um, I am does... now in the back of the group, just like pushing, doing the like parent thing of like, please just go forward. Just, just go, go, go. Just go um, forward. Where are you really, going? Really... Because you're a little stuck, Anu. Can you see the map? Can here? I just really quickly I just ask I'm a mostly... clarifying question, if that's okay? Um, and maybe I missed it because I was trying to like take notes. Um, but after the minute, because after the minute, like the effect that happened to Gordo subsided is nuna's fur still green after after about a minute it turns back to normal oh. okay good to know good to know good to know this is not as fun <laughs> oh <laughs> uh now anu in front of you behind you is a, is a pretty crazy like cliffside with rocks and jagged i mean these are black rocks and they're very sharp even just touching yeah. them you're like i can't mess with these Ooh, um okay. and then the way in front of you has these uh this very dense uh foliage these vines can i send lionel up above the tree line to try and locate the spire because we want to the spire is the center right and we want to try and make our way to the center good point good point absolutely uh, so he flies up. Um, what color is Lionel? Lionel is a very, is like a mottled brown. He's a long-eared owl. Okay. Um, he flies up, and, uh, if it, if this is the find familiar spell, I assume. Yes. And you're able to kind of also see through his eyes. You're able to get a bearing on where you are at. You can't see the spire, though. <laughs> But you see where the oh. center is, and you see these okay. thick storm clouds, and they would be to your north east. So past the big bird. Is the map we're currently looking at oriented like north is up, south is down? Yeah, we're just going to do that <laughs> for this now. Isn't, this isn't bean. We're not as bean not orientation. Right now. We're okay. not weaving. Okay. Okay. The, gotcha. o- the gotcha. problem, gotcha. yeah, the only way off of this cliff that you've been teleported on is going to be north. It's way too far down going south. Then I'm just, I'm trying to like gather everyone together right about over here. If you can see on the map where I'm... Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just kind of, come on, just let's let's talk about this. Alright, let's let's go. I see you. Alright, learn learn, by where we go. That way is the center, which means okay. we have to pass the big bird. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let's not eat any more strange things until we make sure that we're not going to get eaten, yeah? Okay? Question. Fine. Yes, Delbo. What if it looks really good? Then like... put it in your pocket for later. Later what we if... can do all the snack times. 
Okay. All right, fine. Fine. Okay. Um, is this uh while we're standing here and and powwowing about how not to get killed by this bird? Um, is there anything interesting about this sand, uh, quicksand looking ish spot, or is it just like kind of swirling? I was gonna say, I think it just, might just be quicksand. There, there are the mushrooms catching your eye on the other side of it. It they're these blue, blue mushrooms with mm -hmm. white spots with these big giant caps on it. The sand itself does absolutely look like quicksand. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. And yeah. like these, these like kind of branches and stuff right here in the center, like seem to be completely impassable. I uh, yeah. Currently, there's not really much of a way through them. And how tall is the cliff side? Next yeah, that to was the my nest? next question. It's like 10, 15 feet, but it's like. But it's sharp. Sharp yeah. and yeah. jagged. Yeah. Okay. And I probably can't jump 35 feet. Hmm. So the mushrooms um, are like. Not with that scary. attitude, anyway. No, no not with the jumping attitude, bug. Do you can't. think it will let me jump really high? Oh my gosh, that's such a good idea. You should. Tr Wait, yes, we should try it, though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you're eating a ye one of the yellow bucks? Yeah. By, little, like, by itself, friend. nothing happens. It is tasty though. It's got a nice crunch to it. Uh, well, that's good. Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think you could deep fry these. Yeah, but nothing happens by itself. Like a little coconut fried cricket situation. Mm. Just so triple check. This is generally the area where we're seeing the blue mushrooms across from the quicksand. So Correct. To cross the quicksand again. Could I maybe like? Throw out a mage hand to try and acquire us a blue mushroom. Ooh, yeah. good call. Uh, Ooh, as you try to mean. conjure this mage hand, uh, you find yourself unable to do so. Ah, oh, beans. <laughs> Dang it. I have an idea. Hmm? Rin, what's going on? Uh, what's up? I have some issues. No, no, there's something stopping me. I don't know what. Mm. Someone I'm toss sure me. I did Delbo. Yeah. Why would you want to be tossed? Yeah, I toss mean, me this over is there. Just like the daycare. How will you get this is back? Just like the daycare. Uh, I, I could climb on this cliff, maybe. No. No. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> it is. It is like vol. No. <laughs> it is like volcanic, like obsidian. Like it is literally oh, like razor glass. sharp. It's like oh. climbing glass. Yeah. And, and this is from what I can see. Uh, it's either go across the sand or try to go through the vines or just keep eating more things until something happens that's good for us or bad. Mm. All right. I've um, I would like to. Hmm. <laughs> Tossing me is still an option. I do it. <laughs> I'm gonna pick him up and just toss him in the air like a baby. <laughs> 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 no, um, no. <laughs> is <laughs> are the blue vine flowers accessible to us? Yeah, you can gather some blue flowers. I'm gonna grab a blue vine flower and just chow down on that and see what happens. Wait. Nothing happens. The the mushrooms paralyzed the ground when interacting with the blue flowers, right? So if we, you think if we throw the mushrooms into, oh, I'm liking, the I'm liking sand, this. Do we have to eat the mushrooms, or can we? I'm gonna pick Wait, up let's a just mushroom try and a blue flower and touch them together on the ground. Okay. When you nice. mix them together, the ground. So where you are standing, the grass and everything around you becomes stiffened and petrified. For how? Oh. What's the radius of it? Like five feet around you. And it lasts for like a minute. Oh. It lasts for like but a minute. But if we can like okay. do that, are there enough in the area to like do multiple? Yes. With the okay. with the plan that you just concocted, you are able to mix the blue flower and the brown mushroom, mushroom together, and you're able to stiffen the ground and make your way across this sand and gather yourselves plenty of these blue mushrooms. Nice, Emily. Nice. Well uh, done. Question, mechanical question. Did this action like consume that brown mushroom and blue flower? There's plenty. In, in a, We're spending okay. time. You're you're able to have as many as you need for 
um, this bit. Okay, Delbo okay, okay, will, eat one. He'll eat a blue mushroom. Uh, you suddenly find yourself what? limp and yeah. ragdolled. Your oh, he's like a little baby to slur, now. And then you Help. fall <laughs> over completely. No bones. No I bones at all. Everybody knew the brighter the color, it's the an, more oh, dangerous. It's a no like, bones day. No bones day. And I. Come on. Oh, don't don't remind Please. me, guys. Please. Or what else? Don't just give it a minute. Uh, don't wait, no, nothing happens. Nicola, Nicola's gonna pick up Delvo and just kind of throw him up in the air. While oh. Nothing happens. Just, I I uh -huh. said that wrong. Nothing happens. Oh. The blue oh. mushrooms, they. Oh. oh. Nothing happens by themselves. Nothing happens but by man, themselves. Okay. I committed the to that. Been been zero, or did you rewrite lore to avoid emotional damage from Noodle the pug? <laughs> we miss Noodle. R.I.P. Noodle pouring out. Um, Nothing happens okay. by itself. Sorry about that. Okay. Question. So <laughs> Gordo is going to grab the green bug mm -hmm. and the blue flower mm -hmm. and touch them to the sandy area. The sand turns green. Oh, I'm getting this now. All right. Yeah, this is all coming together. There are going to be some awesome dishes on this menu, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds like the emphasis on the changing this year is like an alchemical change. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking Gordo's of... green goulash mm -hmm. is going to be a real hit. You know, I'm not opposed to that one, actually. Alliteration really sells. Good on you, Gordo. Okay, okay. okay. So we have blue flower. That's like area of effect. Mm -hmm. uh, then we got like these green bugs. That's just like green for some right. reason. I mean, why yep, not? Uh -huh. Oh, Rinse wait, oh, the shots as she goes. We're collecting Brown mushroom of is of making things. Hey, Rin. Paralyzed. Yes. Can it's we just take hard. snapshots with that? Or is there a way to, like, record moments of a longer period? I mean, this is kind of like an older take, generation take one, but it seems to be able to record also. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So maybe... So she's yeah. So any Let's, anything that's appropriate. So if it seems like yeah. it needs to be like a video, she'll take video. If it needs to be just like a little quick pick, um, but she's like, hey, it's your girl yeah. here at the here at the <laughs> here with the paralysis mushrooms. Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm over here at the, the quicksand and um. <laughs> Listen, your mom's being your mom's being a bother. Just give her one of these mushrooms. You're good for a minute. <laughs> All right. So we need to to figure out the yellow bug and the red bug. And the white poofy mushroom, which looks mm -hmm. really cool. Now we just, the red bugs just basically like came down because they were attracted to the bird when it turned yellow. Green. Green. Or green, green excuse Whoa. me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whoa. And did it like, remind me, did they eat it? Did they try to eat it? What did they, what did they, they yeah. just came to it and went away? They came or? to say hi. I have them in a jar. Yeah. Oh, okay. You've collected okay. the red bugs and the blue mushrooms now. Okay. Okay. Who wants to eat a red bug? Well, we should probably actually maybe get away from the giant bird now too. I'm just gonna go ahead and chomp down on a red bug. You gotta eat it with a flower. Nothing happens, just a bug. All right. Um. Never mind. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, you know, Nicola, I'm really proud of you. You really got you. When I first gave you my bug dish, you were really you. Or you tried to tell me you weren't gonna like it. Gordo, you watched me drink whiskey last night that was brewed in a shoe. Mm-hmm, yeah. That, you know, if I use my, like, trainers, it makes a completely different taste. I've I know, it. I know it does. Is that what you gave me last week? No. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, well, I mean, no. <laughs> no, I mean, no. <laughs> no, I mean... <laughs> Uh, okay, so, so are we trying where bugs or are we just going away? Finest no dress to try. slippers. Guys, we're can I... getting distracted. We're at a time yeah. table here. Yeah. Can I look at the giant bird? Has there been any movement in the past little bit? Uh, at this juncture, there has not. The, okay. Is the okay. bird alive? Like, is the bird like actively like moving? Can we see it breathing? Yeah, it seems to be like kind of resting, kind of okay. roosted. Okay. It is, it is facing away from you. Um, okay. It has not. Still have to get through to this yet. brambly thicket. Yeah. 
to get Yeah, in. I was going to say, so can right I go now, up and investigate this thicket here for it a is moment? Kind of see what's dense, going on. thick vines, and they are almost tree-like. They are like... Get away from these vines. Yeah, they're like roots. They're they're very thick and rigid. So we don't know what the white puffball mushrooms do. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, I wait, I got an idea and he's going to Gordo's going to take a blue mushroom and a blue flower and touch it to the plant, the tree. Mm-hmm. What was the a blue mushroom? A blue mushroom and a blue flower. Blue flower. Uh the nothing happens. Hmm. Try a puffball mushroom. I'm going to hand yeah. him one of these like white puffball. Sure, I'll try a puffball mushroom. And a blue f- puffball mushroom and a blue flower? Nothing happens. Yeah. Hmm. Um, what if we take. Yeah, I... What about the okay, blue okay. flower and the blue mushroom? The blue flower seems Bugs. too. I think okay. we just tried that. We just tried that. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just oh, tried yeah, that one. Sorry. What if. Do okay. The red bug and the blue flower. That's what I was just about to say. Uh, touching them to the vines does not do anything. Did what we if... get any answer on what the red bugs were doing when interacting with the people that turned green? Uh, they seem very interested in it, like a like a bee. You know what I mean? If you have like a col- colorful shirt, like they're not. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. What did we need to do to turn things green? It was the the, it the was yellow green flower green. and the green bug. The yellow flower. Mm-hmm. Have yeah. we taken those and like rubbed them against the vines yet to see if maybe the red we, bugs will come down and like yang 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 yang? We could oh, try. Uh, sure, let's try yellow. And, like eat through the vines. Well, for, well, for, oh, let's yeah. we'll try that. But first, I'm gonna try the yellow flower and mm-hmm. the blue mushroom this time. Um, as they are kind of mixed together and you uh, put those on the vine, there is no effect. Oh, dang. Okay, yeah. Okay, there so now you want are, me to turn it green? It does it turn green. you. Yeah. What was the bug again? The, uh, no, no, no it's the ye- blue mushroom and yellow flower. When you mix those should. together as you are rubbing this on the vines, you fall no bones. Oh, no. Oh my god. Uh, no bones day. Uh, uh, so the yellow uh, flower and the blue mushroom make uh, you just burn. paralyzed. Yeah. Uh, we can try cutting it. Cutting it. Cutting it down. You know, I had that thought, but I'm a little bit concerned about the bird. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, all of us. We, we've been hollering and hacking this entire time, and the bird hasn't even moved, so I'm, I'm assuming can if we... we were, be dead to be dead now. Delbo, you missed this at the initial briefing, like okay. the whole ceremony thing. We're not supposed to do any like huge damage, and I feel like cutting down massive vines and trees might get us penalized. Oh, well, yeah, that's a good that. point. Ah, good point. Good point. So, can we climb? How tall are these like vine things? It's not going to be really possible to climb over them. You would get stuck okay. in them. What you have seen Tight. so far, just to mm. wrap up here. Um, mm-hmm. So the blue mushrooms seem to affect the ground, or the blue flowers seem to affect the ground. The yellow flowers seem to affect creatures. You still okay. have the red flowers as well. Do we have any other colored flowers? You have red, yellow, and blue flowers. Oh, let me try the red and okay. brown mushroom. Red flower, bl- brown, blue mushroom. Red flower, blue mushroom, tree. The blue mushrooms and the red flower mixed together causes the vines to turn completely flaccid and fall to the ground, completely softened, and it is very easy to pass through these thick vines. All right, well, the entire time that we're walking through these flaccid vines, I'm just going to be like, ew, ew, ew. This is going to really spice up my ramen dish. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I'll add another disclaimer. Oh, ramen made out of trees. Audiences. Tremen. I don't, I, only if it stays that way. Like, you don't want it to suddenly go back. Yeah, to and the then after a minute, okay, yeah. it's like a branch, like, 
penetrates through the edges of somebody's <laughs> intestinal wall. Let's not think about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, after after a minute, what does happen? Does it return to normal, yeah, or does it, it just it, become stiff on the ground? It becomes. It returns back to the state that it was in previously. I just like to think it's just like shloop, like just straight <laughs> yeah. up. Delbo, so, as you approach this next wall with these vines that are hanging down off of it, this giant pterosaur turns to no. you and screeches. Wait, when did it wake roars. up? It when is we've turned the corner. <laughs> now it is awake, and you see in its nest it is sitting atop three giant eggs. Oh, well, that would be a good breakfast, wait, you guys. Throw some no bone oh. stuff at anyone's, it. Throw some no bone stuff at it. Yeah, can anyone do that or speak with animals? I, I, I speak. I can, but I don't think I speak pterosaur. I do speak pterosaur. So can we? Can I insight check that? <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't I speak pterosaur. Okay. That was actually an insult. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, All right. It, it looks on. at you. It's like we... you what? <laughs> you what? Tuesday. I can't understand a single word you're saying, mate. <laughs> I mean, I could try to talk with it, but like, they're usually pretty rude. Um, yeah, I think maybe we, I mean, like, throw, like, um, like, a brown or a blue mushroom at it and see if we can just kind of, like, label it somehow. I mean, if we can get it to, to eat the brown it. mushrooms, yeah. If yeah. We can... Well, someone will have to get really close and act as bait in order to attack that person, and then that person would have to throw a mushroom in its mouth, and hopefully the effect would take so suddenly that that... Why is everyone looking at me weird? Why is everyone... <laughs> Why is everyone? I mean, it does minute. seem to take and place of like simultaneously. It does seem to like take effect, mm -hmm. of, like immediately. Yeah. So oh. this is this. So this bird's not attacking. It's just like Mah! protecting its nest, sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like squaring up right now. Maybe we just try and okay. get past it. But the eggs, we could use those eggs, right? No, oh, no. we could use the eggs. We, eggs. Not at the loss of our lives. It's well, such a nice mama bird. Mm. And mm. like, how would we pass by it? Don't we? Also, have they're to probably really of... big, and they'd be really uh, like I mean, hard to carry down a cliff. Can I so touch these... the? Yeah. Oh god. Oh, I was gonna say these vines over here upon the cliff, the, upon the cliff face, upon the cliff face. Mm -hmm. Is that a way to like? Are they vines? Is it a tree? What 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 is that? There is some growth that has reached up over these very sharp rocks, uh, and without being any closer, it's hard to hypothesize whether or not you could use it to climb up. Can I touch the yellow flower to yellow bug, please? The yellow flower and yellow bug. You have mixed those together, and you have a mixture now. I don't. I like. I just think. I just like rub. I just grab him gently by the wings and just like rub him on the flower. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> got it. it. That's done. I. If Can you I... are touching it, then you are now yellow. Oh, I'm yellow. <laughs> yeah. Mm, okay. This is not what I was hoping for. This, are are pterosaurs terrified of yellow? No, they probably think it's yummy. Oh shoot. Do you want me to I try have to heard talk they to it, and we could just try to sneak we by? Don't move, Do it, Nuna. Do it. I mean, what would it hurt at this point? Yeah. We should talk to it. Maybe it's <laughs> just really. Nuna's maybe gonna it... attempt to cast speak with animals. Um, attempting to cast a spell, you find the words stuck in your throat. You stumble back, uh, and you feel this, just this dark, not dark, but this like deep deep energy um, kind of in the direction where uh, uh, Anu had pointed out that the heart of the valley would be. You feel the words like getting pulled from your chest, pulled from your throat, and the spell does not take effect. So, um, yeah, it's not going to work. Um, it happened to you too. It happened yeah, to you too, didn't it? It did. Um, so It's not good. No. How, what do you the, mean? Like, the, we can't cast anything here, love. 
And the energy, book's gonna help you. Like the, the arcane trying. energy is like drawn towards the center of the valley, though, right? That was the sense that. Uh, Maybe I, mean, I didn't tell not. you that, but yes. Interesting. <laughs> well, I'm just asking this for me as a person, but interesting. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to try and cast Mage Hand as well. I, as the player, know, but Anu does not believe it yet. Um, That being a cantrip, it's not... You don't get the same sense that Nuna had gotten. Um, but it still doesn't form any... It like, doesn't. the magic doesn't go yeah, off. Yeah, you're, you're unable to cast a spell. Why do you guys all look like you have to go to the bathroom really bad? Because I do. I really do. Oh, I mean, you could. I mean, you could pretty much go anywhere. I think. I mean, Maybe the, the sand pit might be bird good. first. Uh, though, that is still screeching down at us. Yeah, I'm gonna try and move forward and see if it reacts at all. Like yeah, just I was very gonna try gently to, to talk to the bird. Yeah, you get a sense that if you moved much closer, it would probably attack you. It would attack. Okay. Even as um, I'm like shifting to the side, it still yeah, gets like rough me. It's okay. starting to starting to get very oh. agitated. Uh, its it's feathers are all poofed up. This thing has like stood up now and has its wings outstretched. And there's no way like the opposite direction woods wise for us to cut through. We don't see any maybe like like not like this like if we went that way instead of toward the bird. It's pretty much the same thing. There's just a little bit of a break in the foliage here. Gotcha, gotcha. Basically I mean, just need still, to get off this cliff. We still need yeah. to figure out what the red bug does. And um, what the it might turn you does. red. I mean it's Ooh, yeah. know. Let's try I'll try yellow flower and white mushroom. Uh Gordo? Yeah. You double in size. Whoa! Oh, no. Hey, you know, this is going to really help with, like, the whole gym. Like, I've been going to the gym a lot recently, mm -hmm. but this is much we easier. Immediately starts taking defined. video. <laughs> Does the bird react to the fact that an intruder just got massive in its space? It is very agitated. You think as long as you don't move any closer wow. right now, you're probably safe? But we it should. is um, agitated. Um, so maybe being we go doubled back in size. Down. Well, it being doubled in size, could I hand, can I could I lift somebody up the cliff face? Oh. Or down the cliff face? Without Clever boy. Hmm. How tall were you previously? I mean he was pretty pretty tall. Bugbear size, like six five. Yeah. Yeah. So a solid thirteen feet. Oh, and I have double reach because I am a bugbear with arms. You got long with arms. Arms. Oh my gosh. Arms. Uh. Can you just pop us up? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay <laughs> with that. I'm. It's going to be treacherous getting you up though. After that. Yeah. But yeah, I think you um, hypothesize you could get. What if we? Okay, over. so hear me out. Hear me out. the The treacherous part is because the the the, the landscape is like jagged, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's safe to say that most of us have um, in our packs like some kind of like bedroll or blanket or something. Mm -hmm. Could we take the bedroll or blanket and extend it down over the surface yes. of the cliff to soften the jaggedness? Of if, the rock to if aid you them are willing up. to use those, they will. I mean, they will be cut to shreds, but they will save you from any injury making the climb. Okay. But you will <laughs> yeah, be totally. down. You'll be down Here a couple is, bed rolls, and you'll be in fine. the Here jungle is for my, a week. That's fine. Question: So this is going down, right? We're going down a cliff. You're going up, and then down. Basically, so you're you need to crest this little bit of a climb and then go back down into the valley. Uh, so sorry, but so to uh, on the map to the north, that cliff that's north of us, that is we're going up. Yes. We're trying to climb up. That's correct. Okay. Question: Could I stick my staff, my quarter staff, into the ground? <laughs> dig a little hole. Stick okay. my quarter staff into the ground. Put the white mushroom and the red flower and touch them to the quarter staff oh, and like hold on to it or climb or climb up it and 
monk style and jump across. <laughs> what is the quarter step made out of? Is this just wood. a wooden quarter step? Yeah. It's yeah. A so the wed, yeah. the red flower and the white mushroom. white mushroom would double your staff. How long is a quarter staff? It's now a half staff. I was gonna say it's a, it's a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. <That's> staff. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, I like, thought that I was could, funny. Like, you every... all suck. I, could, I loved I it. Could, no, it was great. I've seen I what makes you laugh. Everybody up there. <laughs> you don't impress me. And then me I just need like a stepping stool to like bake big and jump up there. <laughs> big. Do oh, but wait. Can Delta we break. all? Okay, two questions. Can we all take the embiggening Alice in Wonderland style mushroom friend? Or was it mushrooms? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Do they stack? No. <laughs> like the idea of all of us just becoming. It's like Insurmountable gods and <laughs> just stepping on all of our op opposition. Do we have? Do we have the paralysis things necessary? Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. Can I get those, please? And thank yeah. you. What? Yeah. Do you want? Do you want like to make yourself real paralyzed or like the ground or like what do you or the? I need yeah myself. Oh, whatever creature okay. I feed this to. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You just well, need the mushroom at that point. You just need the mushroom. Can I get like three of those? Yeah, yeah, here you go. Great. You um, need the yellow, yellow You've already figured this out. You need the yellow flower to make the... Mm. That'll make yourself... If you mix the yellow flower and the brown mushroom, you will become paralyzed. A creature. Mm. A creature. It's a creature. Okay. okay. So it, right? yellow you affects a creature. Blue affects the ground. Red oh, affects like flora. Yeah. All right. I would, uh, I would like to do that. And... Yes. What? Hello? Um, would you like for us to, like, just in case, babes, just in case things go bad, um, would you like for us to attach, like, a rope or something to you to, like, yank you out of there in case this, like, giant bird tries to grab you? Nope. Live free, die free. That's how All we live. All right, then. All right. Go for it. <laughs> he's, okay. he's breaking the safety rule. Recording oh, video. Yeah. <laughs> This is this really breaking the safety rule? I'm just feeding it the earth. This is not according to the handbook at all. You're definitely breaking the okay, safety rule. Okay, so Delbo, what are you doing? I just want <laughs> to try to feed... I'm sorry. I just want to try to feed this thing, this creature, these mushroom... Uh -huh. The blue mushroom yellow flower combination to try to paralysize it so that we may climb with the roots and things. What color feel, of a cobalt are you? What color? Mm -hmm. Uh... Technically bronze, I guess. Yeah, you would I was say. gonna say you were like a oh. bronze-colored friend. Um, make an animal handling check as you step forward. Oh. Oh, okay, what could possibly I mean, go wrong? In theory, if the bird eats all of him, it would accomplish the same thing that he's trying to do. It's so true. That's true. It's really a no lose situation. That's a, 14, got a rope on him. We could always him out, right? You can always find new friends. I mean, um, yeah. So. No, we might get extra points for finishing with a man down. Just... That does. Not... <laughs> I don't think we do. I think we get points deducted if anything. That does not. Yeah. Uh, that does not evoke an attack. But it does not seem interested in what you are offering it. But you oh, do yeah. think, based on your animal handling check, you do think it might eat something if you were to offer it the right thing. Um, Alright everyone, if we offer it the right thing, potentially it might eat it, but I... What did the bird ate the spotted the green The bird beetle, ate, right? it was the green beetle on the yellow, the yellow flower. flower. Oh, it probably was Yeah, so bug. if we put a, a green bug on the yellow yeah. flower and we go up and we're like, hey, maybe... Well, we want the green bug on the brown mushroom, right? May oh yes, maybe. What if we made a sandwich and we put the green bug Good on idea. the yellow flower on the mushroom? Yeah. Sounds Why like a job for chef. Uh, the the combination of those three, the bird looks very interested in. 
Do you like this? This is delicious. Come here. And it kind of calms down. There it's you go. It's... Feathers unruffle. It leans its head down. Yeah. Listen to old Delbo here. here and you know. it's kind of going back and forth. You're very far away from it. It doesn't look like it's going to leave its eggs. All right. Well, I'm not trying to take anything from you, little one. Our big, Can big, I do big like a... Like a fun little dance or something to try and, t- and entice it away from the nest. Yes. Here, little little thing. Uh, when you get close enough, it very carefully reaches down and chomps. Oh. You oh. have to, like, pull your hand away very quickly. Oh, okay. Uh, and Too much kissy kissy. It, it was like feeding turns, a horse. Where it's like, ah! <laughs> it turns rigid almost yeah. immediately and then tilts go, 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 forward and run run um i'm going to take <laughs> with I'm this gonna like set paralyzed a bird 1 minute face timer it's like eh. oh no Ordo, I'm take so this a is selfie with the bird as it's like <clears throat> paralyzed like eh. 50 and then run. Gordo, Gordo Gordo is going to get big and Gordo is going to immediately start like lifting people way up the the thing. Okay, and the okay. cushioning from the vines is uh, making it so that you do not get caught. So everyone oh, tight. but Gordo move yourselves up there. Gordo, how are you getting up? I'm just going to climb up the vines after that's all done. The vines are uh, soft and oh, flimsy oh, oh. and oh, they I fall will apart. Use oh, no. the Wait, 20 brown, seconds. Use, use brown, brown mushroom. Brown mushroom. And the uh, red, red. flower. Yeah. Red flower, red 10 flower. seconds. Flower. And, and you, touch them to the vines. The vines and grow stiff, them. and you are able to climb them. <coughs> with two seconds remaining. And the <laughs> bird Run! unfreezes, looks around. It is not willing to leave its nest, and you are out Aww. of its sight for now. Such it's a good mom. Protecting its oh. babies. So... Que- me- another mechanical question. So when I touched it, so the vines like were were weak enough to break. Uh-huh. But when I touched them with the paralysis combination, they were then strong enough to climb on or correct. Mm-hmm. Interesting. And I assumed so that like you had done it enough it. that you weren't touching this mixture yourself at that time. Oh, I yeah. think it can be safe to say, unless I you want me to roll slide a hand. I think we are and it was okay. The... What's up, then? I still want to figure out what the red bug does. <laughs> and what did well, you guys get away. pictures of? Oh, I was taking video the entire time. The entire time. I like how you just like... decided that we they, they have video <laughs> capability <laughs> without me. Yeah, so we we asked if you know it's it's an older generation <laughs> selfie device, but it clearly has video capability. It's not that That's old. <laughs> I assumed that was canon. I think you're right. I yeah. think you're right. And I've been David Attenborough style, like here we see the <laughs> Delbo taking. <laughs> That's I do amazing. like, I know it's not true, but I do like that that's the only reason that you took that accent for this campaign or for this arc <laughs> is so that's you right. could David Attenborough the entire thing. Strictly, strictly. So I have revealed to you um, the map of the valley here and the small corner. I have the little campfire um, that is kind of indicating which square that you are in. And if you use your little measuring stick, you will see that each square is six miles long. What? Making making this uh, this journey, you can go about four squares Whoa. a day. Whoa! It's without like a, it's like a four X game. Without um, I want to pushing yourselves. If you push yourselves oh beyond four squares a day, then we will have to roll checks for exhaustion. Um, okay. I do need everyone to make sure you're tracking your mundane items. So, for example, oh there, you would have had disadvantage on your um, constitution saves against exhaustion, the people that weren't sleeping with bed rolls. Uh, I need you to keep track of your rations. Um, for example, if you feed a, I, I don't know, like a crazy rainbow monkey some of your rations to make it happy that's ridiculous you could hypothetically run out of food you know what i mean so make sure that you're tracking those things 
yes. water skates. But if we build a there. farm on the southwest corner, that's going <laughs> to mm-hmm. convert the rainforest and give us an extra food per turn. Yeah. If we Stardew and Valley exactly. this. I'm not mad about it. I'm um, not mad about it. Okay. How many lunches did you pack? Um. Well, let's see. There's me. There's you. Uh, there's um, Anu. So that would be um, I packed one, uh, five. Wait, no, six, because I got one too. Well, actually, I ate mine already, but I do have five left. Five rations. Great. Does I anyone have else two. have rations? I have two rations. Rin I, has rations. Yes. I drink my own, I definitely my own have saliva food. to survive. I thought we were going to kind of like finish this and knock this out in the afternoon, honestly. I kind of thought we got really mm-hmm. stumped by that whole like brown mushroom. I thought the whole point of bringing the cooking stuff was so you could cook. Oh, I mean, I like, have, no, I can cook. I have 10 rations. Yeah. I'm Ooh, telling so you, you guys got to try And we paralysis. can also, like, go hunting and shit. Like, we're capable enough. We can go out. I'm telling you, you got to try my... Vegetarians, we don't Does eat that... Yeah, we're, we can we're go out hunting broccoli. Those <laughs> devious <laughs> bastards. Broccoli, I mean, I think you mean stalk foraging. in the night. No, The no. blue mushrooms didn't do anything on their own, right? We can always eat some of the mushrooms on their own. And just make sure they don't react That's to the That's true, others. but our You know, Nicola, we don't know animals. yet, but in this in this changing, the mushrooms, or the uh, the broccoli could hunt you, for all we know. I mean, that's literally what I said, is that they stalk in the night. Because they're the broccoli night. stalks. I, th- I heard someone say broccoli eggs, and I don't know why I really enjoyed that thought. So, <laughs> um, broccoli is born from <laughs> eggs in this world. God, we gotta get now the I eggs. want an omelet Oh so no, the bad. broccoli's hatching. So you're all basically standing at the foot of this little cliff, uh, having a very interesting conversation. Uh, Time is ticking. This is still the morning. Good TikTok video later. That took about an hour. Um, And so you could hypothetically do four squares today if you wanted to. Uh, What are you guys doing? No. So I think we should travel towards the core, the center. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Can we yes. get a read on where the storm is right now? Yeah, that's a good idea. Ooh, absolutely. Good call. Um, the the foliage is pretty high and thick around you. These jungle trees. Uh, Emily, however, has a nifty little flying friend. Uh, I'm gonna have um this familiar make a stealth check every time it flies up above the tree line. Since okay. there are, thanks to Andy, predatory birds that fly around and eat things out of the sky. And if we get below like a 10, we're going to say that it is predatorialized. Is that a word? Sure. It's sure. Shakespeare, um, Shakespeare it's made up words all the time. It's it <laughs> Fuck it. It's fine. Broccoli eggs. Okay. All Broccoli words eggs. are made up. You can make any word you want. So mm. doing a stealth check, yeah? For if, Lionel? If, if you want to check um, the state of the storm. I think it'd be good to just also get perspective. Yeah. See Correct. where we are. Get better bearings, yeah. Jeez. Oh, dear. That's a nine. <laughs> so, oh, Leonin flies up into the sky, you're seeing through his eyes, then you just hear, ah! <laughs> and in one bite, <laughs> Leonin is gone. Oh, I imagine we're all just down on the ground, like there he goes. How beautiful! And then you just see, like, it's like that little kid holding the the hamster. That video, and the hawk just comes down and takes it. <laughs> That's my boy, Father Hell. <laughs> what do your owl eyes see? I mean, oh, I, I, I could have summoned right, well, my spirit, but you kind of just went for it. Um, can summon a like, spirit? Well, yeah. Okay. Wait, can you though? So far, we've been a bit oh, uh, magic. I, I actually don't know. I'm gonna try to summon my wildfire spirit to see if it actually mm-hmm. summons. Yeah, can we do any magic now? Yeah, I kind of want to try to do a burning hand. I don't know if, to that, see counts if that works. As, I guess as well. that we're all magic. just burning. Everybody's just throwing fire suddenly. We're like. about to go to bed. <laughs> You're going to bed. It's like eleven in the morning. You gotta get all the fire out well, before you go to bed. That's just bad. Mine's not a. So, I thought we were going my to bed. class. I'm sorry, I got confused on the time of day, but I do want to see if I can do 
burning Everybody hand. knows a wizard is required to use all their spell <laughs> slots before they go to bed. Right? Um, That's why Elminster, Elminster is just out there shooting lightning into the air very, for like an hour. This is a very like D&D meets Arrested Development where it's like if you leave the cap off of vodka, it's going to go bad. Yeah. <laughs> like mentality to spells. All right, so if I burn my burning hands, what does that do? Uh, is that's a leveled spell, correct? Um, it's a racial feat, and it's it, it's a level one spell though that you it get is access a to. Well, uh, when you reach third le- or third level, you can hang on. I will share it to the thing. Um, when you reach third level, you can cast the burning hand spell as a second level spell once with the yeah. trait and regain level the ability spell. to do so. Yeah. Uh you feel that same kind of uh, drawing in your, like, like these words are almost like being pulled from your throat and you this time get this, almost this feeling of being watched for a moment as this spell starts to like well up inside of you. Like this is a part, you know what I mean? The ability to use this magic is a part of you and it is just pulled from you and you feel it go to the, like the Northeast towards where you, you believe to be the center of the valley. Okay. Did my but I, I, I definitely get the sensation of, like, something's watching us. Uh, I'm going to say that the spirit does not work. I'm going to treat this as a anti-magic field, which also does affect class features. Okay. Does the okay. spell still, like... Do they still lose their spell slot? Is it like the magic is drawn out of them, or is it just, like, stopped? I'll say no, it does not expend the spell. Okay. Okay. Tight. Um Okay, so we have no magic. Yeah, that fucking um, sucks. I just Something lost my bird. Just... Yeah. Your bird comes back in like what a day. Uh my bird comes back with magic. Lion uh oh, Lionel shit. comes back with magic. Yeah. Shit. Um hmm. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I did drink a lot after we went back to bed <sighs> last night. I'm so sorry. Maybe I'm we could like go. Over. We could maybe like get him out of the uh, the big bird. <laughs> See where it lands. Uh, so here's the thing. thing. Do you think that this is like a Russian nesting doll situation where we can go and we can uh, crack? Open listen, the big bird I just and got here water today, water. so the bird out. Guys, I think we should like walk and talk. Yeah, We're yeah. Wasting a lot yeah, of yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Just like ten on. Anu just yeah, goes over and puts her head on Nuna's shoulders, just like thank you. I'm just gonna walk away from them. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna follow Nuna. Okay, let's go. So we're walking, and I assume what direction like are you snapping walking? towards the center? Mm-hmm. So yes. Yeah, yes. like whatever. I would agree with that. As we're walking, I think that Nikki would like pull out like surreptitiously without like drawing attention to it, like the lip color that she stole from Ren and just like apply it really quickly and then just oh my god I love that that color's great on you oh my god thank you it's really cool did you get that in mm-hmm. town yeah you know I just like made it from some like crushed yeah. up like bugs and mushrooms and shit house. that we found really in like the last right. area that's great my lips are a little bit numb but I think it's like a plumping effect so mm-hmm. that's awesome inside check you. Okay. I'm, Go for I'm it. just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I also... <laughs> Do it! <laughs> Grant, as we're walking, I'm trying to, like, do at least a rough cartography of the area we're walking through. Okay. So, who is kind of, like, guiding? I'm going to need a survival check from uh, uh, Probably, no. Anu. I and say, I'm going who to has need the highest survival? a survival check from whoever is guiding. This is going to be six hours of travel per square, or four hours per travel. Probably not. That is a 19 yeah. for my survival check. But nice. That's, That's really 14. good. Nice. So good. Okay. Nuna, roll a 1d6 for me. That's a five. Okay. Uh, these... It just got so quiet. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you guys ever wonder sometimes that you don't really feel like yourself? Like, maybe sometimes you just feel like you woke up, but you're not who you think you are? Mm-hmm. 
That never happened. Did anyone else? No. There was that one time that I drank okay. something that Nicola gave me, and I kind of felt like that. I mean, I felt I mean, the same I, way, so I'm not gonna feel like bad. Can I? You, can but... I be honest with you all about something? Just while we're hmm. just kind of walking here. Of course. Right. Uh, I woke yes. up. I woke up, and I, I, I know you tell me my name is Delbo. But I don't feel like that at all. I feel you like you told us that your name was Delbo. Mm-hmm. Well, right, but my name. Uh, I just I woke up. I felt really weird. I walked into the the tavern. I mean, we, we got things to do. We don't talk about this. I was just trying to waste some time while we were waiting here. But you know, we can talk about this later. It's not no, a big deal. Delbo, share your feelings. What do you feel like? Yeah, you can't drop. Don't, don't feel like you Delbo. Can't just don't feel drop like that Delbo. you don't feel like who you are. What do you feel like? We can uh, call you anything. Well, okay. Well, I don't. I feel like my name is not Delbo. I feel like I'm a different person. Okay. Well, what do you want us to call you? Name? I, oh, when no. I look at you, I look. I kind of think you look like. No, like it's Patrick. Is that weird? Oh, well, that's, like, no. that's I not like it. Patrick. That's not it at all. Patrick. Like, oh, okay. You have coached us through a lot of life things, being that you are a life yeah. coach. So like, that's what, the, what can we do for you? That's another thing. Is I don't feel very like coached like a coach. I don't, I what I'm trying to say is I am not Delbo. You know, we all you? don't feel like ourselves sometimes. No, so it's no. very stressful. I need you to hear I me. I always walking, feel like myself. Okay. As we're walking well, through think... this deadly jungle, probably going to die for whatever reason. I just need to come clean with something. And I don't Did mean to Delbo take up. Do you have a brother or. No, my name's not Delbo. My name's not. It is Delbo, but it's not Delbo. Okay. What's your name? Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. Can I just. <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick insight <laughs> check on whatever is going is on. Tom. I, I'm okay. gonna do an insight check on what's going on. Okay, I don't Tom, know why you said Patrick. Patrick. Just... I think Patrick was better than Tom. I, Let's just if call him he Tom wants, and call it if a day. he wants to be called Tom, then we're gonna no, call him Tom. I'm tr- I was not. I woke up yesterday. You woke up as a Tom. No, I was. I was an elf. I was living in a city. I was a bread maker. I went to sleep. I woke up and I'm a cobalt. No, no, no. Those are called dreams. Friday like, thing? I had yeah, dreams sometimes. I, like, that's no, what I'm time. trying to. I was Mustard. really trying to wait for a good time. And I thought I was going to die with the birds. I just didn't think this was really necessary. But now, why are we there yet? I feel like I feel like we're. We, we stopped we, to have this very Yeah, everyone's completely stopped and just staring yeah, at you, Delbo. we're all stopped to <laughs> what deal kind with your of, existential yeah. crisis. Hold on. What kind of bread <laughs> did you bake? Or were you more like a pastries sort of? Well, it was more of... I mean, from what I remember, it was all types of bread. There was French loaf. Uh, oh, there nice. was, What's the there was I have a good croissants. French loaf recipe. French. Sourdough, rye. Uh, a sourdough made with lemons? No. Oh. But anyway, I guess it's not important. Um, but maybe it's I mean, just I don't weird. know. It seems kind of important. I mean, like you brought it up, so important. I just. <laughs> well, like I rolled maybe. a four on my insight check, so. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a just like, 17, Ow. so. Yeah, I was just like, oh. all right, I'm done with this conversation. Going back to map making. Yes, what are we, do- what are we doing here? What the cuss is up with Delbo? <laughs> We're trying to figure out what your name is now, I guess, because I always thought it was Delbo, because that's what well, you told me it was. It's but, Delbo. Then I, but what Delbo. I'm trying to say is, I don't remember anything about being Delbo. I just remember being Tom. Oh. He's always been a Tom, okay? I get it. Do you so he's a Tom. Tom? Well, then why did you tell me off? your name was Delbo when the no. first time we yeah. met? No, I'm saying that yesterday or today. When we woke up, I didn't. I just remember being Tom. Okay. Can I make oh, a hit? Is this a normal a thing? Election. Has this has this ever yeah. happened before <laughs> with this with Delbo or this character? Can I roll? Do I need to make a check? Maybe. I think you would know you, if yeah, it had do happened. Yeah, people before. have like okay. personality shifts with the changing, or is there any sort of known, Delbo just like, has a new name every Freaky week. Friday sort of situation with yeah. the changing? I think everyone would know not to be in the valley during the changing. It is a- <gasps> Delvo, were you in the valley? I was right where you are. I'm trying to just tell you my heart. 
and oh, really freaking it out. Well, man. it sounds like you're trying to tell us Tom's okay, heart, okay, and I don't okay, know a Tom. Okay. okay. So no, just everybody, calm down, calm down, calm down. Um, uh, Gordo, you have some 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 herbs that can kind of be calming, right? Like a nice like herbal tea situation. Yeah, kind of I've like got this brown down. mushroom. It makes you like super super calm. Like, or actually, I'm sorry, blue mushroom. Like it's so calm, like you can't even move. Yeah, it's almost okay. like you have no um, bones. Too calm. No, needs to be calm. Oh, okay. too calm. Too calm. A little oh, bit in I between. See. Um. um and now we have to go through an entire puzzle scenario of how to talk Delvo down off of a personality. No, no, I this is not a personality at all. This is okay. Okay, I'm trying. Okay, let me I, let me let me take one more crack at this. Just so so two days ago you were Delvo, but then yesterday yes. you were Tom. No, and today now, or yesterday day. you were Delvo. Yes. Like, last night you became Tom and you forgot Delbo. No, he's always been Tom. He's oh, that's not Delbo. this is not what I was trying to get at. I'm not I, I'm gonna be honest, guys. I'm not following this at all. So. I'm trying to I tell love. you I woke up magically this morning and I remember a whole different life as a different person. All right, Tom. I dreamt that I was I dreamt I was a walking follow. potato one time, but that doesn't mean I'm a walking potato now. Um, I mean, you could going to follow our lead. We're going to get through this valley. That's all you need to I know. I just don't know how it'll work. That's all you need to know. We're going to we'll talk it out as we go, but we got to keep moving otherwise something we are kind of wasting time. It does mean that we have to bring up again. like a Mr. Potato NPC at some point. Um so what direction would you like to go for your next square? That was an hour and a half. It went totally fine. Northeast. <laughs> to continue towards the, uh, towards the, the yeah. center, yeah. I think, right? Okay. Yeah, just yeah. keep okay. trucking toward the center. Uh, give me a, a survival check for the map making, uh, Anu. And give me a survival check. Is Anu always doing that, or can I assist That's... with... Yeah, you? I was going to say, can yeah. I help out with that? You guys can do this however you would like to. That's a I just nine have proficiency. for my survival. Yeah. I would love to assist, yeah. Ooh. Well, I got a 13. But... <laughs> so many rolls. Gordo's good at, like, rolling around in the dirt and finding stuff, <laughs> which also uh, means he has to yeah. find his way back. So Anu um, <clears throat> got some help with the map. I need a survival check from Nuna for the navigation. The 16. Nice! 16. Nice. Uh, give me a 1d6 with the 16. That's a two. Okay. Uh, uh, what is the order that you are walking in? Oh, dang it. Um, I would be bringing up the rear because I'm trying to like. Or Gordo's up towards front. the end. But. I think Rin's going to be kind of near Anu, probably, because she's going to be trying to, like, take pictures and vid as she goes. Mm -hmm. I think that... Begrudgingly working together. Yeah, and, I think that yeah. uh, Nikki would be kind of, like, in between... Like, kind of in the center in front of Ren. In front of just Ren? to kind of, like, protect everybody. Okay. And I think at some point I just thrown out there, Ren would probably kind of just to Anu be like, I'm sorry about your bird. That's frustrating, I know. Sorry for calling you flat. Oh. Don't be. That was hilarious. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. That was pretty good. Ren, you um you say these this to uh Anu and then you kind of turn around and are you know, using the selfie stone to kind of capture this. Mm -hmm. And then you feel something pretty much grab your ass. Um, okay. So I realize I just said the nice thing about your bird and everything. And normally we don't have that kind of decor, but that seemed a little inappropriate. Anu, did you? I turned with like me? the map page in my hand and a note, like, as I am currently taking notes, like, what was that? What are you and talking so about? Whip around, looking around, like, where did that come from? What What was that? Give me a Something... perception check. 
Right. Uh, we knew this day was coming. Ooh. Can I assist him as the prophecies? I'm you're directly. you're so can, you're so can, sure, Rin, that with, that Anu just grabbed your ass. I mean, I was gonna say, can I lie, assist in this since but, I was like so close to them? Uh, you could, could like, but you also feel as you turn around, you hear uh, Rin start you to throw also, a fit. You also feel uh, <laughs> Anu grab your ass. <laughs> <laughs> we just had a good moment. What? We're in the no, I, no, I mean, grove. what are you talking about? Uh, something We're just in. grabbed my ass. Was it not you? <laughs> you can no, just be it honest. was not me. Hey, what the oh, shit? Oh, what no, was it then? About, you gotta keep what your hands to yourself. Then? All right, everybody, hands in the air. Who just grabbed my ass? I mean, I was up front, so it couldn't have been me. I have you been this whole time. Has everybody no been asked. grabbing Nicole's ass? Your hands are all up, like you're. <laughs> is this admitting? No, I was told. I mean, that. it's a good ass. I don't blame you, but like consent, people ask. As right? you are all arguing, uh, Delbo slowly starts to be lifted into the air. Oh, oh! I need an adult. Holy shit, I Delbo's levitating! Oh god! Okay. Oh, as soon as they get like one time, further up, the time. Yes. these vines are starting to wrap around Delbo. Ah! Uh, putting him into kind of like a uh, position Make that you would hold a baby. Uh, oh, it's not definitely, <laughs> definitely getting this on video. No! And it begins to was... gently rock him back <laughs> oh, and forth. Oh my god. One I of the vines starts to the reach up and brushes your cheek, Delbo, oh, very softly. I don't like this at all. Oh, How many influence points you. can I spend to stop this? <laughs> So I you're saying that you're, so I just want to, those burning hand spells were not working, right? Because I just want to make sure. Okay. Yeah, no, they're not working. Uh, but can I? Tub, is this helping you calm down? Because yeah. it seems really relaxing. Double, are you okay? Oh, he's crying it out. Oh, please please give him a minute. Down, and you start please. to cry, it starts to bounce you very gently. No, they're, they're mothering me. They're mothering oh, me. Can I go? Can we I, see the mother Delbo. vine? Hey, like, okay, I am six okay, foot eight. Okay, so obviously whatever this is is sentient because it's reacting to everything that's happening. Can you not? Can you not, plants? I, I do not consent. Oh, <laughs> it's just still Let kind of gently bouncing no, on Delbo. It's still all right, wants- all right. I'll try to. I'll yeah. I'll help Anu and try to reach up and pull him down. Yeah, I'm gonna like gently, as if I were taking a baby from someone, like <laughs> pull Delbo back and like put you know, him it's down. It's really not good to take a baby from the mother. Uh, the vines I, I, kind of reach towards you a little bit and kind of gently. I mean, not aggressively at all. They just are. Kind of hovering and brushing against your shoulders, but they there, do. There, there, Tom. There, God, there. I, they I do release Tom Delbo. It's okay, Tom. So much. I love I'm... you. I want a whole bunch of them. Tom, you did so. You were me so me brave that. up there. Everyone right. can call me Delbo, but I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anymore. Just I need to call you Tom whatever Bob you want. Do we have the... any alcohol? <laughs> One is of the vines is like I'm reaching alcohol. towards you. Yeah, I would like so. Maybe we should go. Maybe we should keep moving. Uh, I kind of, I, I kind of want to. Really like, should. I want to take one with me. Okay. Yeah, you can get a little. Like you would be able to find a little version of this vine, and it would kind of like feel like oh, up uh, in my horns. Oh yeah, it would like Wait, wrap around your horns very nicely. You? Yeah. Look at it. They didn't so nice. hurt Delpo. Like. Yeah, emotionally, inappropriate things that I am emotionally I, scarred. I, myself and Rin did both get groped by these things, but I mean, just keep it away from me. Just keep it away from me. How about that? Uh, okay. You come up, uh, breaking the tree line, and you see. I'm going to reveal quite a bit of this area to you. Oh boy! Uh, as Lord. you can see over the. Um, Across the water. We all knew that moment was coming and it was worse yeah. than I imagined. Yeah. Well I was done, everything man. I well wanted it to be. Well I wanted, done. I would rather it have Lois been McNeil. something that was trying to kill me. I love them. <laughs> love them. Uh, I would rather I mean, ha- have. Secretly, been I do a, love them. 
Rin just I, doesn't like to be they touched. Didn't, they uh, didn't even go near Duda, so she didn't make them that her friends. Delbo did not like that. I, 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 me as a person, naked Swolrath, <laughs> I love. No, no vines, I hate both in and out of character. No. Well, you have one in your party now, so you better figure it out <laughs> and oh, learn how to coexist yeah. because they're oh, part one of your friends like, now. No, uh, it's an arc. It's fine. I don't have to deal with them past this arc. Um, <laughs> that's what you think. No, <laughs> you don't know. You don't know where the main adventure is going to take. Place. Yeah, right. Like Liara will have a straight up PTSD <laughs> moment with a moving fucking vine that tries to talk to her. So what you see, you see rushing water pouring out from what seems to be this marshlands across the water from you. Water has pulled up in the center of this valley, and the water is rushing quite fast to the southeast as you see this little um, uh, offshoot. And the water seems to be coming in from all directions and then flowing uh, somewhere. You have not uh, you have not seen where that is flowing to quite yet. The marshlands are across the water and you see the storm. This is pretty far off. It is currently about 50 miles to your northeast and it is moving towards you and you can see this these dark storm clouds you can see uh the the movement almost looks like a line of darkness that is coming towards you and it is Ugh. swooping down along around the valley in a clockwise fashion what is most notable though is you see the heart of the valley for the first time ever in any changings any pictures that you've seen any murals any of these images is changed there seems to be a large chunk of it that has been broken into and there are these massive massive roots curling around it and a tree seems to be in the exact spot where the heart of the valley is this is a huge tree completely out of place with these jungle trees that you are seeing this is some sort of oak tree and it oh, is interesting massive, and it has some I, as a person in this game not as a character does it look like the mama oak renee can you stop fucking with my art of uh, this arc please <laughs> Max did. <laughs> he just granted. Uh, there is some type of massive oak tree that is like occupying the exact same space as this heart of the valley. It is indeed the mama oak, but you would have no idea. Oh, no, 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 no. 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 That's no, new. No, no, no. You should take it didn't a look like that before. What's that? Obviously. Picture. You know, I was pretty sure on all the murals, it was always, like, a big crystal. Mm. Do you think that's worth extra points? Probably. Maybe. If, if, if we get, get to it first, it is. I mean, yeah, but yeah. If you get to it first, and that might be the least of your concerns as the storm sweeps towards you and all of the fun, happy dangers along the way, uh, you need to either find a way across the water or you're going to need to make a trek. Either way... We're going to find out what that is, not next week, and not the week after that. Oh, but no. Because of the holiday. Because of the holiday, Ooh. we're going to be back for the Grand Clan yes. Tournament of the ah! Match Hunter Valley on January 9th. Next Monday, you're going to be able to watch our holiday special. As I mentioned, Check it that out. is going to be all sorts of fun. Uh, Carlos is in it. Renee is in it. People from Power Would Fail in it. People from the Kaleidosphere are in it. And people, uh, me, I'm in it. And Austin from the Homebrew D&D Play Podcast. So check that out. It's a lot of fun. And then the week after that, we might be doing something. I've heard some whispers. I don't want to fully commit to it yet. I see Carlos moving his mouth. But we will see. I think we're going to do something on the second. It's happening, it's happening if we'll, we will allow it. Gonna okay. happen. Something is happening. It's but gonna we, happen. You should come. But watch. we will return to the um the Grand Clan tournament of the Matt Hunter Valley oh. on the Can I ninth. Add in a thing. Yeah. We're doing. Is it okay to mention that we're doing the test stream of the game night next Monday night? 
if anybody wants to watch. Yeah, it. it's less of a test stream if we promote it, but you can okay. 100% well, no, do I'm that. Okay, well, no, I'm fine with it being a hey, test everyone, stream with we're gonna be people being like, hey, you fucked up. <laughs> um, so if you guys want to go and check out, I think, I, I guess we're doing it, like, through my Twitch. I don't know. Yeah, I think we'll do it we'll on ours. We'll do it on, on the yours. at okay. the homebrew D and D. But we're gonna be doing a test stream. We're gonna start trying to do like a cross uh, show cast member fun game night. Yeah, once a month. Yeah, uh, with once different month. games, and we're all gonna hang out and go ghost hunting or play Among Us or play Raft or whatever the fuck we feel like. So you should come hang out. Cool. Yeah, and watch that, and we'll have a good time. And the best way to stay in the know on stuff like that is to join our Discord, which is discord.gg slash the homebrew podcast. That's where you can find all of the uh, episode drops and everything like that and all the different stuff. I love doing this with the theme music in the background. We have such good theme it. music. It feels, oh, so high. Um, so I, it gets me going. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching and thank you for viewing. We're going to be going yeah. so fucking hard 2023. We're, it's going to be enough. amazing. I'm so excited. Uh, Everything is everything is happening. I can't wait to get through the holidays so that we can get into some normalcy. But we'll be back in two weeks. So we'll see you. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. Oh yeah, ring the bell. Uh, hit Do the subscribe all buttons. Things. We love. Absolutely. Share us. Share us with your friends. Yeah, tell your and friends your about your friends and your loved ones. Annoy and people I about hope us because that's what I do. And I hope that you have an excellent holiday season. However you celebrate, or even if you don't, I hope that you uh, either have some. Uh, free time to do what you want to do, or you get to have a huge table full with people you love and excellent food. However you celebrate, I hope you have a absolutely wonderful holiday. We'll see you next year. Thanks, everybody. Yeah! All that jazz.